Hey. Yo. You see me? I can see you. All right. I, I could hear a phone ringing. I'm going to YouTube now on another screen. That's a private chat, so that's not going to be the same chat, right? So, live, live now. Oh, man. They're... Boy, I'm as lost as an eight-day clock on this damn thing. You got to you gotta hit the... <laughs> I think you got to hit the mute in your YouTube. Uh... Like... Where your screen is open with your YouTube, it's it's all delayed and screwed up. Yeah, you're coming in like three minutes later after I talk. There's a mute in YouTube. Yeah, down in the lower left corner, you goof. God, I don't know how to you... use. Is that better? How about now? I can I can still hear myself there. Can you? Can y'all hear me? Shit. Oh, are we not cussing? I'll try Let's... to keep it. <laughs> All right. We're winging it. We're like 30 minutes behind. Yeah, so just just <laughs> stay out of just stay out of that other one and you got to you got to see what's going on in here. Oh, uh, Bradley says cuss all you want. Slingshot engaged. Well, I guess we're really doing it, Harry. Okay. You, you Okies, I swear. I hope he's not calling me an Okie. Oh, man. So I, 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 I thought I was smart and arranged it where I could sit down like I could read that far. Y'all know I got them squinty-ass eyes. <laughs> and they will see nothing from there. They, uh, they don't know that you can't read either. So so you just you just sit back there and wing it. Hey, don't put a G on pudding, all right? That's rule number one tonight. Oh, not a G on it. It's 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 not pudding. It's Do you see a G or do you see apostrophe S? Put it's pudding Mr. Roundhouse Pudding Tang. That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of nameology you got going on there. I don't even know how to talk because every time I talk, I look up there and it's what I said three minutes ago. Well, you, you gotta get all out right, of that. I got an idea. You got you got an idea. What what are you fixing to do? Tell us what is that what you guys do? Your, there? You your stuff's all good because you're talking and like responding to me, and it looks like you're saying it right now, and I'm the only thing lagging. It's cause it's cause I'm in the future and everything in Oklahoma is in the past. You think it's because I'm trying to hot spot off my jitterbug? I you're you're doing just fine. Get out of the YouTube. Don't look at the YouTube screen. Oh, okay. Well, I can't read everyone else then though. That's what sucks. Now on this one, it's good. Everything's good, but I can't see people's comments. Oh, can you can you can you pull it up on your phone and then mute it? My phone's hot spotting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, not I'm not an hey, air expert. Eric, you'll have to yeah. steal. Uh, y'all bear with me, damn it. This is experimental. You'll, you'll have to steal uh, Ella Ray's flip phone next time, and then. Uh, you can shit her her flip phone works better than mine. Every I time show me how to use every mine. time pudding drops an S bomb, you guys gotta take a drink. Oh <laughs> y'all's gonna have a long night. <laughs> uh, Nancy and Nancy put in Snap Shop Koozie, I'll drink with you. Oh yeah. Uh the 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 male moose came from Canadian Kanukistan and the sobering guys. I'm pretty sure it took two and a half months to get this thing here. All right, I'm going off the YouTube. I can't read y'all's comments. Mud flat Matt, I see that. That's a good one. <laughs> that was a good. It was a good nickname for the video. In reality, it's a terrible nickname. It's not a good nickname. You do not want to be called that. No one would wear that nickname with pride. That's not going to happen. You'd you'd be surprised. People will will make their pickups drag like that in the back. You know. Oh, Carolina the, squatters. No, no, it's it's the Pot County squat. Oh, well, the pot county squats because you overload the son of a bitch. That's a difference. Like people do it on purpose. It's because I'm putting a thousand pounds of crap in the trunk of a, to a freaking Torola and thinking it can haul it. <laughs> Not that uh, it can, because it definitely we, can. I mean, we got we got it. Dougie Dougie Fresh is in, is in here telling everybody what a mud flap is in case these guys didn't know it. 
And uh, Bradley, he's doing shots of wild turkey. That You Ooh. are more of a man than me, right? I, I gave up the liquor about and every time somebody ago. Every time somebody asks where Duff is at, you got to take a shot. So Sprockets, he, he just encouraged yeah. the first shot because he's asked where Duff. Duff's out chasing tail somewhere outside. The tennis should have brought a, brought a damn TV in here where I could have seen the damn comments. Not, look, y'all, all right. These things are $7.97 at Walmart. They are not made for standing around. They're for walking through junkyards. Oh, oh, that those, they ain't made for standing on concrete. Shit. Oh, there's another drink. Those those S-word. those seven dollar Walmart shoes. They really they really tie the unitard together that you're wearing there. I mean, everyone thinks this is like funny, but go up to the local boomerang to have a freaking biscuit and gravy and coffee and see how many people's wearing it. It's the get up around here. This biscuits hey. and gravy. 118 years locally made. They don't advertise. They don't do nothing. And you got, I know because I cause, emailed cause them. Because you, the you got the only pair and you had to snail mail them because they don't have an email. No. You better look at their website. You got to learn real quick. They're, they're 118 years in business strong and they don't do zero advertisement. But Bobby Succotash says you need to get some AOL CDs, you know, get those dialed up so you... Uh, get the interwebs down there so you can see the chats well that would be nice it sucks because it's really good on the live stream page thing we're on it's like perfect and then when i click on youtube it's like 30 seconds behind oh you can you can that's another shot a couple shots for the deaf dog yeah right it's all it's all people want to know is where's the dog where's the dog he's he's outside rolling in something dead getting free Biscuits and gravy off the neighbor's grill. I don't know what he's going in. I don't. Th- I don't. Heck? You don't. Do you know who Bobby Secatash is, Mister Roundhouse? No. Here's the thing. Like, and a million of my comments, everyone's like, "Hey, did you see so and so's video?" And you can ask. You can ask Mortsky because he's all the time. He's throwing names out there. I'm like, I have no clue who that is, guys. I work full time. I family full time, and I YouTube full time, and yeah. I literally have like no time to watch YouTube and I feel bad because he's really good about watching my videos and I can't say when I catch up on his. Uh, Cause, cause you don't. It, that, exactly. It's super hard to even catch up on his and I, I feel bad about it, but no, you don't. I, I, no, I do. I try shit. Oh, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> Uh, I I, I haven't even got my t-shirts out yet. My my very first t-shirt that uh, releases just says shit. (laughs) We're just, we're going to, we're going to make you take a piece of clothing off every time you swear. You're going to be standing there in your skippies in about four and a half minutes. I only got four on. (laughs) Oh, you put both socks on today? I got both socks. (laughs) It's a good day. Uh, I have lost a sock at a junkyard, but that's a different story. Morsky's got his other dog tonight, Puddin. Yeah. yeah, Roundhouse Puddin. He's a, he's he's a terrible dog. He's always pissing on the floor and humping your leg. But you know, I don't watch no porn hub. Look have at y'all. See, have y'all seen my wife? All right, you guys. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have a vote. Who 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 you subscribe to first? You described to Puddin first. Or you described to Morsky first. Oh. So we got one guy that says I subscribed to Puddin because of Morsky, so I sent him your way. They're probably all going to be like, "Yeah, we found you because of that guy in Canada who's got the the diesel engines and such." And Puddin entered his vehicles into 964 different categories, and then oh, don't sound like that one guy who said I did that. Yeah, and then that and then that feller called him out, and yeah, and, and then 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 his winner just happened to. Uh, Entering the same amount that I entered into, and you knew his excuse was bullshit. Hey, just don't like me because I'm buddies <laughs> with uh, Mortsky. Oh, I said shit again twice. <laughs> uh, you're gonna be okay. you're gonna be sitting back there in your banana hammock in no time. <laughs> That's the problem. I said four <laughs> pieces of clothes, and you know I got two socks on and some bibs and a shirt. <laughs> do your socks? Know, you, do your socks at least? I, they got toes in them, or they got they got holes. Do they match? I think so. <laughs> the, to- 
the taller the sock, the downer the fool. So y'all know oh. I'm down. Jeez, man! Like how many how many different tattoos do you got? Like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's one big one as far as I'm concerned. They don't stop. I really don't know. I mean, you I got, got a lot of money invested into it. I know that. Oh, you have to pay money for those things? Sometimes. I traded a lot of work. <laughs> I actually <laughs> traded a lot of work to my guy in Louisiana, like working on his cars and stuff. So half are paid for, half were traded out. So look at you inspired this guy whose name I cannot pronounce or gal inspired you so much that they bought a Datsun 620. I don't know what a Datsun 620 is, but it's, it's probably like the top of the line model of Datsun I'm saying, cause I've never heard of like a Datsun 1000. So. Well, you need to look at Datsuns cause they do pretty good. Actually. I don't know why people like them so much. Like people are going nuts over these things. And it's you like, I for, think people think I'm looking what? for them. People it's like, think I'm looking for these damn things and they're just finding me. They just, they just find you. You know, it's like, it's I, like, I say that. All right. The green truck I knew was out there and I always wanted it. And of course I had my truck, but that car, like it happened to be pulled up there and be put in fab shop blue. And like the guy to happen to reach out and go, Hey, you can have the damn thing. It's not like, you know, you can't plan that. The fact when I went to look for a flex plate, which I know I kept calling it a flywheel. Uh, a flex plate the other day, and there's a perfect 710 station wagon sitting in front of it. That's 100% complete that I'm going to look at in the morning. <laughs> These Dotsons just keep looking fine to me. I didn't plan that. I was looking for a freaking flex plate. And it's, they're like, it's, they're not, like, it's not even missing a damn hubcap. It's like 100%. I asked him about it, and he's like, oh, it had carburetor issues. The family wanted to sell it. He said, they're I never like, wanted to part it out, so I just kept it there complete. They're like stray dogs. They just follow you home. Exactly. It's like hey. Jeff and how lucky you got that, you know, he took to you. Yeah. Um, hey guys, go check out Floyd. I see Floyd's in here. Floyd's Mayhem Garage. Putting you should you should check him out. He bought a NASCAR chassis, like a sprint cup series, and he stretched it out. Yeah. He's got like a really rusty like 69 charger body. And he's setting it on top of it. So he's gonna have like a road race ratty 69 charger. It's it's pretty cool, and he's like, hey, hey, he's the guy who sold some stuff to the roadkill folks. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's how I found him. Is he's he's Freiburger, I, I, he's Freiburger's buddy. Oh, see, Weird Beard's in here now. I'm like three minutes behind, so that could be thirty minutes ago, but it's on there now. <laughs> Look at that! They're commenting about that Torola. You started a fad, like literally. Those things I see them hey. going for like seven hundred dollars all over the place. Now you've doubled the value yeah. in Toyota. Any more comments on the coal, uh, on the tow roller, and I'll pull that son of a bitch out of here and power break the tow roller in here. Hey, is is that your bike back there? When did you get into bikes? Oh man, that's good. <laughs> take that I'm thing. Still working on it. Take, I, I took the training wheels off yet. Take take that thing. Is it got a basket on the front too? Oh, how about a horn? Honk the horn. We, we don't endorse these cleaning products. <laughs> or those. Because they don't pay me yet. Uh, I want you to pull something right now. Just like groin just snap. Oh. No, I can still ride it. I've been riding my, uh, my other daughter's 10 speed. And yeah, it's terrible. But Ella likes going through the neighborhoods over there. So... We tear, we tear up the streets. You know, I'm still pretty fast on them. <laughs> Not as fast as you are at the pool noodles. Dead Reckon yeah. says, uh, got to love the old Dotsons. My mom had a 79 Dotson 810 wagon with a manual. She called the car Betsy, RIP. I bet Betsy is still going. You can't kill a Dotson. Cause, I cause can tell y'all that you'll probably that think. Son of a beetle never dies, what it stands for. Y'all probably think I know enough about Dodson's that I even know what an 810 wagon is, and I have no clue what that is. <laughs> like, everyone's always like, hey, I, I seen it earlier. Someone said something about like a FJ2 something. That's a Toyota. Like, That's like I, a, I know it's a Toyota, but oh. if you could ask me to picture it, not happening. Like, I, I'm not that car guy that, like, Tom is. Oh, Tom's like, oh. That 305, you see that bolt there? That means it was made in 72 up here in Michigan over across the, you know, and he knows like every little detail. And I'm like, well, the son of a bitch run. Like, I don't, you know, I don't need yeah. all that. I'm yeah. not that guy. 
Yeah, you're that yeah, guy's like. I'm, you know what I'm, I'm not I'm knowledgeable. Gonna, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a luggage rag in my Toyota and then I'm gonna punch holes in it so it's like woo woo when you go down the Dude, road between 45 yeah, and 55. That thing whistles harder than Jimmy Warner on the Alice Chalmers. That thing, <laughs> that thing just buzzes. 40 to 55. You're like, oh, that ain't too bad, I guess, once you get up to speed. Except every little road around here, you're running 40 to 45. So it's just Wah! everywhere you go. I've purposely been driving next to people because it hums so loud and I'm trying to look at them to see if they're looking at me to see if they can hear it. So they really think you're a creep. So you're a redneck driving in a jacked up black Toyota with a roof rack and then you're just like staring straight into their eyes like. You see that limo tent? They can't see me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> now I'm classy but now. I, I love that. how you got the, the murder skid row headliner in that thing. Like what happened to that thing? Did you, I mean, a knife fight when it took place in there with Freddy Krueger and Edward Scissorhands yeah. or what? They're playing, uh, playing friggin' rock, paper, scissors. No, that's called, uh, having three children who think they need to pick at the headliner. That was the girls. Yeah. They're guilty as ever. Prosecute well, them. Well, if you wouldn't have left him in there for like four hours with the windows oh, yeah, up, right. the dog. <laughs> if there's one thing I get, it's the damn best dad award. So don't give me that. Uh, I may not be the most knowledgeable on cars award, but Bryce Bryce says you got to do a live stream with uh, Jimmy Barr. Oh man, that'd be good. Can you imagine how they, much Kirsten would be in there? We can do good. He's pretty good at turning it off. Probably better than I am. Sometimes he'll, he still smack me upside the head. <laughs> uh, yeah, like y'all thought he was scared of me. No, he'll still smack the shit out of me and be like, damn it, boy, that's enough. So uh, he might do all right, but we're getting him a little less camera shy, you know, but I don't know he's ready for a live stream. He is doing pretty good on the on the regular videos now. Well, he used to act all weird. Was it like getting that tractor running where he like took a day of vacation just to like be part like he's like, oh, well, you can't do it without me. Yeah, no. And we're uh, actually depending on how the station wagon looks tomorrow. And I got to call dad tomorrow. I'm thinking maybe Friday if he can get off that Minneapolis Moline finally. Like we've been trying to plan that, but my rotating schedule and, you know, it's just it's hard for me and him to get together. But he's all about it. Shit, he oh, there's a drink. He's ready to retire. So he's like, hey, let's get that YouTube going. That way dad can retire, you know. <laughs> like, hell, I'm trying pops. You guys so subscribe you, and you know. So what are you doing? Like you, you do like four on, three off, or I mean, is it just yeah, you know, totally random? No, it's a rotating every two weeks. So like this week, I was off Monday, Tuesday. The only days I have to work is Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then the next week, it's total opposite. Only days I have off is Wednesday and Thursday. So it's, it, it rotates every other week. I'm either working on Wednesday and Thursday or I'm off a of Wednesday and Thursday every two weeks. And it's like I say 12 hours, but it's 13 hour shifts. So that's like on a lot of videos where I just throw crap together like this last one. It's because I had two days and I didn't spend a day getting that thing out of salvage yard to the house for then slick to show up and go, hey, dumbass, there ain't even a transmission in here. And I was like, boy, popping that hood from the right side didn't do me no good, did it? So at that at that point, I got two days to get y'all a video. I'm already a day invested into getting a car here. Now we got to take the tow roller down to play in some mud and just have some fun. And what's cool is everyone's still supporting it and. You know, the comments are all good. I haven't had no bad comments on it. So no, cool. not even not even from Bobby Hill. Not even Bobby Hall. He did hit me with a couple. He's telling me quit playing with Tonka cars. You know, I'm a family man. I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't mind running into Bobby Hall. <laughs> uh, and Bobby Hall in Bobby Hall's mind, he's about eight foot tall. But I'd bring that son of a bitch down to my level real quick. I feel like Bobby Hall is like is like Bobby Hill. He's like four foot seven and two hundred and I was gonna say pounds. really, really. I meet him and he's like right here looking up at me. Want to headbutt him, but I can't, so I just got to hit him with a beer belly bump. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't ever yeah. do that on camera again. Hey man, I don't give a shit. Oh, there's a drink. <laughs>
No, there's hey, D Boss Garage said it correct. This guy does not give a crap what people think. I really don't. Which is why I ain't blocked Bobby Hall. Because as much as he wants to get on there and talk crap, he literally watches every video and he comments on every video, which not throwing shots, but you know, like I watch people's channels and I'm not the best about leaving comments and thumbs up. I feel like that dude's supporting me, whether he's trying to talk crap or not. He's watching every video and commenting. So he knows what's going on. Freaking Jaws just dropped in. He's uh he's building a 57 Chevy gasser in uh one of the islands in Hawaii. So they have country boys in Hawaii? Yeah. And it, so he had to send me a lava lamp. So I, oh. I got a lava lamp in my shop. When I was in the Air Force, I met one guy from Hawaii. And he was like this tall, but his arms were like that big around. And I remember I got a 4.3 for my Chevy Love I had at the time. And I was swapping it out with a company from Texas, uh, Dallas City Motor Supply. And I had a chain on it. And that dude, no shit, long block, valve covered an oil pan, picked it up with one hand, and he looked at me, and he curled it. I'm not <laughs> This dude's arms were like this. He scared the shit out of me. He's always doing those, like, Hawaiian, like, chants, and I was like, no, nah, I ain't messing with that guy. Yeah. They got too much strength. <laughs> too much. Jaws. Jaws. I am. Yeah. Oh, put him coming down to Austin for the Lone Star Roundup. I see that comment. He, uh, except for he's putting flexi hoses on his garbage and he likes Craigers. You like Craigers pudding? <laughs> no comment. Yeah. What do you yeah. It, it, cause it wasn't a real question. Cause nobody likes, no, nobody in their right mind likes Craigers, right? No, absolutely. You're a hundred percent wrong. You try to sell me on some freaking. See how I held that one back? Some freaking torque thrust over steel wheels last night. And now oh, you're yeah. pissing craggers. I will exit off this live stream. Off, <laughs> like, what, what's next? Keystone Classics or what? Oh! You hate gross. them too? Yes. Huh? Those are like the worst. The, the only thing worse than those is like those 80s dire directional like trailer wheels that everybody puts All on right. their like 85 Chevy two-wheel drive long boxes. Uh, get in the stance because if you say Astro Supremes next, I'm going to round no, out this laptop off those jack stands. Because you know my wagon needs a set of those. You damn right it does. All right. So we can get along. We're good, people. Yeah. That's all right. But like, I, I despise Craigers, Keystone Classics. No. Flex Craig. hose. Flex okay. hoses. What about flex hoses? What's no, no. You know me. You're the one who just commented about how I can make a whole video on mounting a damn battery. They don't get views, but. You know, I I, you I don't do it like right. flap together crap. Uh, God, now my crap. whole my whole debate, my whole angle or side on Craigers though is like I'm not so much of them on muscle cars or hot rods, but that's like the only place they belong is on muscle cars, and that's not no even a good because spot. they look damn good with some dime whites on 63, 64s. Craigers? Yes. No. They, they, they are still a low rider wheel, whether you like it or not. I mean, Key, this guy goes LOL Keystones. All I can think of is cheap beer. <laughs> kind of makes sense. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> no arguments there. I can't drink that. Uh, torque. Oh, yeah. We're getting a lot of torque thrust and flex. Also. Flex fans. I hate flex fans, too. I had a guy the other day that wanted one. He's like, I'm like, I'll give it to you. You can have it. Get it out of here. How many you want? Okay, I, I will say this. I can see why you don't like Keystone Classics. I can see why you don't like Craigers. I cannot understand why you so much like the torque thrust when you're not really, you know, muscle car kind of guy. You're old school hot rod guy. And torque thrust definitely don't go on those. Have you? Did you see what's on my wagon? Uh oh. I got. I got. Oh. I got dirty. I, I, dirty. I hear L Ray preaching at the top of her lungs so let me check this out real quick preaching oh boy what do you think guys oh duff just kicked the door and look who showed up where you been everybody's been waiting for you you guys see that how we just chuck norris is the door like the kool-aid man is just like pow i'm back come up here come up here 
yeah. You got to entertain everybody because because pudding's gone. Look at that. Can you see yourself up there? Hey, Josh, what's this? Oh. All right, Josh here. So, did pudding screw up the sound? <laughs> Who's on there? All of YouTube. Come on, you can get on here. Absolutely not. Come on, I don't be scared. Be no. Oh, Which one is this? Lord. Is this the KK? significant other? No. No. Absolutely. This is my middle daughter, KK. Oh, KK. She like, she's all about like TikToks, like the this. Yeah. Stuff why you see it, on Instagram. No, why is it Gucci now? Well, oh, because I got it up where we can see the. Your your dad broke the camera. Yeah. Probably. Oh, probably. She full supported you. <laughs> Just get your phone. Yeah, we had a full meltdown going on in there over at Backpack. You oh, know. you had to go break it up? No, I just had to just had to locate it. They can see you. Again? <laughs> oh. Why is there no comments anymore? They're gonna see you when you go across that screen, though. Somebody yeah, just somebody just called you adorable. I want to see the comments. Huh? There's a little camera right there. Hey. Oh my lord. <laughs> Would you quit, girl? <laughs> do a do a wheelie on my John Deere. That's some Oklahoma stuff right there. Wheelies on the lawnmower. Uh mine can do good ones. For sure. <laughs> exactly. You, you that's some Oklahoma stuff like, oh man, yeah, that's all I know if I'm gonna buy a lawnmower. Like if that thing won't do wheelie, I'm just walking away. Like I ain't paying eighty dollars a month for that lawnmower if it don't do wheelie, you know. I got a my lawnmower's more hopped up than any hot rod I have. Well that ain't saying much. You got three oh fives and four point eights and everything you own. Which is Shit. I mean <laughs> what, what, what <laughs> there's another drink. What are, oh, what are you lying? What are you lining up against all Edna? What what do you even drive besides a Dodge and that freaking pumpkin truck? Oh, I got a we got a 62 Chevy short. Oh, we'll get we'll, we'll give these guys a chance. Okay, cheese. what do you drive that's been started in the last 6 years? I got my 62 short bed Chevy. I got my 71 short bed Chevy. I got that 63 and a half Galaxy. If we're going to name all 80 cars you own. We're going to be here a while. Yeah, I got uh, that '64 wagon. Well, the uh, the gatekeeper is the Corolla, so you get past it, and we'll talk. The Corolla, my my '97 <laughs> Buick LaSabre will destroy that thing. You want to race in reverse? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You want to race up Jimmy Warner's hill? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna angle it talk and finally win a damn race here. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Warner Hill. You went up that well no, I better not I can't say what that hill's called. <laughs> yeah, it's hey, so you mean you do have a filter. You can slip your clutch and throttle back a little bit once in a while. Occasionally. We got her. No. We got her. <laughs> Is it oh <laughs> we got her. That's she is so excited to be here. What? Yeah. Everybody say hi to me, to Mrs. Mudflap Matt. <laughs> I don't say that. I just want to subscribe to this. Where are we at? Right here? Yeah, it's just a bit. Look, everything went up. Everyone's all trying to learn about my life. Here's yeah. my life, all right? What do you got going on here? Oh, you're the, going oh on. yeah. That yeah, we're, we're saying that she read tonight, but even though we can't read, we're just assuming that she knows I, I how told you it. is teaching me how to read. <laughs> she, all right. Everyone makes fun of how I say stuff in the comments. There's the worst critic right there. I, every time I say something, she's like, what'd you just say? Just for uh, reference, accept is not a word. Accept is how you pronounce as, it. As, accept. He, accept. Sounds, accept. he sounds French when he does accept. No. Yeah. Classy. Accept. Sound a little floofy. Accept. What did what did what did she zing you with the other day? Her her, what was her big zinger that she got on you? No, your, she told me to open them eyes if I was going to talk to her. Yeah, she was you, funny. Got, I, I always thought Putin was Hispanic, but then the more I look at him, look at how he squints his eyes, especially when he's no, trying to read. That's all natural. Stuff. That's what people don't understand. <laughs> well, those things just need liposuction. And that's and that's why his name is Putin Tang is because he's clearly Asian, guys. <laughs> he's a. She she got me earlier and said someone thinks I have an eye disease or something. She made me laugh again. 
That's good for her. She, I told you she's usually one a quarter and she hit two. So I got three. All right. Look, she's now she's trying to brag and show off. They don't want really to see it. your elbow. Get out of here. You're going to talk crap on me with him. <laughs> she's going to start her own channel. Get her watch out. <laughs> Just ragging on you. So we need everyone to say that she should hop into the videos from now on. Who's this? Who's this Nicole Warner that's always jumping in? Oh, that's my sister. It's a what? Warner thing. See, she's going to stick up for my damn fat eyes. There we go. <laughs> is, is, is she Asian as well? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I get. I get yeah, I can see it. Like, Jimmy's yeah. just got them big round cheeks. So, I mean, I can see it on Jimmy. He straight looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> he does. Like that, the, the Chevy Love video where I'm like, my dad's on my shirt and then he shows up. He looks straight like it. Uh, or, or he smokes good weed, says Bill. No, that's not true. I've never touched it. I'll drink beer, but I've never once tried it. Everyone in high school thought I was stoned all the time. <laughs> Even before I put on all of my little pudginess and my beer belly, I still look stoned. It's because you were uh, it's because you were hanging out in the parking lot with the guys at uh, McDonald's. Put him's dad looks like the Techno Viking. That's the best comment so far. If y'all have not seen Techno Viking, y'all need to look him up. He's yeah, what man. is what is Techno Viking? Look it up. That that's an old school YouTube video from way back in the day, and that's a good one. Oh man. Now I'm He said I sure married up. <laughs> I thought she got a good deal. Hell. That is not your dad. Techno Viking? That guy's that he's guy's not. Ripped. He, yeah, no, he's not my dad, but he's still he's badass. I'm just saying that what Techno Viking had going on in his life at that point was it was good stuff. His dancing, his seriousness. He's about it. He wasn't. Oh, that's right. right. Tell us, tell us about your break dancing career. It is was short lived. Is that where you? <laughs> is that where you met your wife? Was during your break dancing career? No, but I did about look like this when I picked her up. So if y'all think this is all act, you can ask her about it. This is my. Y'all don't even realize I'm trying to be nice. This is my going to bar, going to the bar, going to the church. You know. Looking nice, kind of wardrobe. Put on the pinstripes for y'all. It's trying to be nice. Uh, Help with the park it and market. Oh, she hates when I do the park it and market. She's like, you sound like a, well, yeah. We're in the house and all we can hear is you outside yelling, which is like all the neighbors. Everyone always Duff, wonders about Duff my doesn't neighbors. Approve of your, Duff doesn't approve of your park it and market. He's all sorts of fired up. You know, Get him, Duff. Duff. Get him. Duff needs to go chase some pudding possum. Fight him. Oh, Duff. we got Roni here. He wants to go live. Arch, Who is come it? Here. Come here. Get over here. Come here. Look at all these oh, people. Look at all these hi people. to Kayla Rose. Look at all these people She's who want to talk to you. She's a who loves both of us, and she loves Duff. You didn't even see that one, Tom. You're slacking. <laughs> you Somebody have... You have someone's this important guy's in, sending this guy's you money. in Oklahoma and he can't read. Can you believe that? How, can you read? Yeah, can you read you? for me? You're five? Look at his look at his goofy bibs he's wearing. Oh, these things are sweet. <laughs> hey, they make them for kids too. They make you want a pair of those? He said they make them for kids. I'll no? send you a <laughs> no. You want you wouldn't wear those? No. no? And his but his dad is Santa Claus. <laughs> that's true. It's see, it's nope. true. Can you hear him? That's Good true. Stand. Yeah, oh, uh, no. I'm trying to read some comments. Yeah, what's going on in the comments? Oh, see, this guy, he's in Hawaii. Jaws. He's a train conductor. That's what. That's what trash metal thinks. <laughs> You can't call me a minion when I ain't got my damn goggles what? on and I ain't got my gloves on. Bobby wants to know what brand of bibs those are. Bobby Succotash wants to know. Roundhouse. This guy says, Sup, Dopey Nightlife says, sup, little buddy. That must be you. <laughs> Probably talking to me. <laughs> Puddin's bibs no. are. Oh, what They're Roundhouse. They're really good. Has anybody, has anybody... Roundhouse? 
They're so is that where Mr. Roundhouse comes from? That's what huh? they're really called? Roundhouse? Yes, they're, they're literally, if you search Roundhouse brand overalls, that's what they you are. get out of here? Yeah. You know, show them what, every time RJ comes over, we got to get, we got to get his laser out. Can I shoot that? What happens Does when I do that? Does Budden have an IH I Metro coming to the channel soon? I actually have a customer. I say a customer. He wants to be a customer, except I'm not accepting builds from people right now. He wants a full chassis for a sweet patinaed one. And it'd be a really cool build, but uh, yeah, I, I just ain't got time. <laughs> so you need, you I think, wait, I think you I'm answer me one more time, and I'm going to close that damn thing. <laughs> He's getting mad at you for lasering him, RJ. Oh, it's him. <laughs> uh, yeah. You go timeout. You, no. Yeah, timeout. He doesn't know what timeout is. Yeah. You ever been putting yeah, timeout? Ella, you want to go to timeout? She's ready to fist fight. She's like, "Do you say you, I'm going to timeout? We're gonna see about that." Yeah, <laughs> her and timeout won't get along. Come and get me. <laughs> He says, come and get me, and I get in the crawler and head that way. You keep the live stream up for four, well, I'd, I'd say uh, 14 hours. Let's be you, practical. 20 hours, I finally show up. <laughs> you you need to get you need to get a Metro and put Puddin's Fab Shop on the side. Ooh, that'd be solid. I mean, everyone's full of ideas. It's just the money and the time and the Oh, I was just going to say, those things are big bucks. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. They, they bring stupid money. And that guy who wants me to build him one, he's like, I don't know what he does for a living other than it involves the marijuana. And he's like a professional shooter and like full sponsored. And uh, he's got a YouTube channel. I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try to butcher it. A professional Sorry. shooter. Like how, so like, like people hire him to, you know. Yeah, no, he, he like sponsored, he sponsored to shoot guns and sell guns. He's legit. He's got deep pockets and he's, I mean. You should have him hook you up. the truck. Oh, that's he, guy. he come to look at the white travel all I had forever ago because he has one that was being restored. And Is that he the one that ended up at Dylan's? It was on that walk around. Do what? Is that the one that was at Dylan's on that walk around, or was no. that a different travel? No, one? that one, the, the white one I had, I sold and it went like all the way to Houston or something. Uh, didn't, but that guy was, wants to buy my truck bad. He said if I ever sell a truck, he's buying it. And he's made me like a legit cash offer for it. Well, I think I told you what it was. Through text, maybe one time, uh, but it's that dude. He wants me to build a chassis for him for his met or his metro, and I'm like, eh, I ain't got time. Sorry. I mean, if the channel gets to the point where I can go full time, and maybe I can start squeezing in a couple projects, you know, then we'll look at finding like the one right customer to do a build for as we're doing stuff ourselves. But until then, you know, people don't like watching builds. It's that simple, right? Just throw a, just throw a, a lift kit on the tow roller. How much higher you think that son of a bitch can lift? But you already got one in there. <laughs> yeah, no, I've had like twelve people tell me to put a lift kit on it, like it's just stock. What happened to the left light? <laughs> that's that's a future yeah. video. You haven't you haven't put that video out yet? I haven't, and it's because I don't know how to like edit on iPhone and the video that I have. Where the incident happens is on iPhone. Uh, I, I'm off all week, so it's kind of, I'm, I'm getting it together this week. Can, I took can, off can you, two days this week, so I'm off you, all you, week. Can, oh yeah, you guys got a on Saturday. You guys got all got to go comment on Puddin's uh, Instagram and YouTube because yeah. it's his birthday. He's, he's turning the big three zero on Saturday. Yeah, turning he's thirty a, on Saturday. All you subscribers are invited. We're having a thirty thousand people get together. Uh, Bring your own beer and food. I'm just playing. I'm not telling y'all where I live. Uh, I'll, I'll put no. it down. I'll put it down in the descriptions. His address, where to show up. He's <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna be uh, barbecuing some rat sacks. It'll be yeah. Delicious. They're gonna have a test, testicle festival over at Puddin's. Good eating. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little chewy, but uh, yeah. the original the original sack lunch. <laughs> Slight salty. Watch your sodium if you're going to consume one that day. Oh, hell's uh, no. <laughs> Someone said, oh, hell's no. That sounds like some stuff I'd say. Uh, that man's in his 20s. I am I, in my 20s, but only for like a week. 
I can't believe your wife came in and stood there for that long. That's like, the- I, I'm impressed, y'all. I've offered to pay that woman to get her in videos with me because I know she'll help the channel. And yeah, we're we're getting there. I mean, it it is weird. It took me a while of holding the camera, or talking to the camera to get used to it. So maybe maybe we'll get her to that point. Hank's up next. Hank just walked in. Yeah, yeah. she need to put on some damn clothes. She's gonna get in the video. Uh oh. Yeah. You better get on something besides them volleyball shorts. <laughs> <laughs> that's that that's dealing with teenage girls right there, folks. <laughs> What's the smackdown? Yeah. Would you be coming out here wearing that? Yeah, she she just got rid of her boyfriend. Thank goodness. <laughs> she got rid of him or you did? He knows not to put them boots on my carpet. <laughs> I'll say that much. <laughs> well, you got you guys got carpet even? Dang. Hey, that old house may have been built in nineteen forty and look like hell from the outside, but the inside's slicker than hell. So yeah, you better not be going in there trying to dirty it up. Thanks it's, for all the ha- thanks for all the happy birthdays. I seen that from a few people. Brian Brian Hoggos, he turned 30 for the second time in February. <laughs> hey, my, my grandma never got an age or a day over the age of 54. I thought forever, every year, happy birthday, Grandma. What are you, 54? But the funny part, thing is, everyone said that. I really believed it. I was like, shit, she's still 54. <laughs> it's, yeah, wor- oh. words you're good with, math, not so much, huh? They say we need to do a, a will it run together. If we do a will it run together, I'll be honest, he's going to do the work. I'm going to sit there and drink beer. You're just you're just going to be back there like juggling 10 millimeter sockets and cartwheels yeah, and your bibs and running around chasing chasing the rats with sawzalls and if any bird if any bird wants to come sabotage the video, I got them. I'll take care of them birds. I got a I got a video coming up where uh See, here's – hold on. I'm sorry. I, I hate to interrupt you. What no, was your you, AFSC? That's like code for what was your Air Force job. And no, I did my six years, and I took it serious when I was in because I said I'd do it. I was not a person who just – like, I didn't retain none of that stuff. When I got out, I dumped it. So I, I can't tell you the whole, like, code and numbers and letters and all that stuff like that. I didn't retain any of that stuff. So people ask me that stuff. And I'm like, shit, I don't remember. You know, I was a jet engine mechanic. So whatever that means. So that was a really long story for Puddin was in the Air Force. They assigned numbers. He doesn't know what his was because he forgot and never was good with numbers. But but thank God one out of 12 could fix a freaking jet engine. Did you yes. ever did you ever put a starter motor on a jet engine? Yeah. <laughs> It's not funny you make you, you make fun not, of me. Not about, as much as you mess with starters. Oh man, it's freaking been. What did I do? You, you wanna, do you want to see what a what a starter looks like for a jet engine? I can show you real quick. Did you did you ever put a starter on uh, Edna? Wasn't didn't you have to push start that thing at the? I push started an automatic. No big deal. Oh, hold on! I got a starter for a jet engine right over here. And this was actually from recommendation of the subscribers because they had a good idea. Oh. See, I said I did correctly that time. I said I deal because that's usually I say I can pickle. Oh. That's what it that's what a starter looks like right there. I bought that baby at the Lowe's for it. next time I come across a big rat nest, I can blow or clean off the top like everyone suggested. That's a good idea. And I get tired of sweeping my porch after I uh, weed eat. So, oh, are we gonna have a leaf blower off? Because yours looks this. This. That, can I say that on camera? Yours this video really blows. <laughs> but Mine's it ain't, it ain't about These the size. These guys need superchargers, so it's way better. How come yours didn't just start? Because I found mine on cleanup week on the on the curb. So it was it was free. I won't start either. I, I want to see you pull the cord rate out because that's what would happen if I tried to start mine. I'm all talking shit and mine won't start and I just bought it. <laughs> you 
Oh, 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 right there. Make, oh. make sure the buttons to on for operate. All right. And, we and probably next, won't ever use it again. And next week on live with Morsky and Puddin, we're gonna have a pull off <laughs> and see who can start their leaf blower before the other guy. Hey. We'll, we'll be like those chainsaw guys, and we like have to start. And we have to go slam a beer, spin around in a circle, and then start your leaf blower and blow your beer bottle over. You want to go for paint slits on the weed eater or what? I refuse to have a weed eater. I'm not classy like you. I just – we got this stuff called Roundup. Greta doesn't approve of it, but we just spray that everywhere. Hey, that – and that Dotson pressure wash video, when I said I hadn't started my weed eater in like three years, I meant that because – uh I got Roundup too, and that's actually what I use. <laughs> all yeah, that story, all just be like, yeah, I use Roundup. I'll uh, I'll weed it once and then spray the hell out of it with Roundup. You got all that child labor there, and you can't get anybody to weed it for you. Oh, no. They keep me in line. That's, that's enough. Could y'all imagine if I didn't have something holding me back? I wouldn't be on YouTube right now. <laughs> I'd probably be in jail somewhere. Again. Twice. <laughs> you know, one time. One time. So what if I have to drop the girls off 300 yards from the school? Not a big deal. No, I'm welcome at all schools, believe it or not. <sighs> just just no wait till you do time. this. Did you tell you do this full time and Al Ray has to invite you in? You're dressed like that. What's what's your daddy do? My daddy's a YouTuber. <laughs> and you come hey, in there and do one of these. That little girl's already proud. Show and tell. She busted out a keychain. Her dad's put in the fab shop. Yeah. She letting everyone know. One, so one guy. Hey, what one kid acted like he knew who I was, but he's like, Your dad's not him. They got in a fight over it. <laughs> we got first graders fighting over it whether I'm Puddin's Fab Shop or not, because she told a kid that I'm him, and he acted like he knew I was and said, no, I'm not, and it made her mad. She's ready to box the kid up because she's talking about his, uh, talking about her daddy. <laughs> Throw down? Yeah. Hey, I don't know y'all seen her that pull noodle, but that little girl's fierce. I don't think any grown boy wants, wants that. She, she'll throw it down. She ain't scared. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty intense pool noodle fight you guys had going on there. It was. It was pretty cool because luckily I was able to get my moves in slow motion where y'all could see them. Because uh, if it wasn't slow motion, it was like a, it was a super blur. So luckily the program didn't like, you know, blur too much when I edited it or whatever. But it turned out pretty good. We're still working on hers, trying to get her, you know, a little faster. Look, yeah, uh, the uh, the sobering I, I guys these. sent their uh, koozies. Oh man, you got line wrenches for you, buddy. <laughs> you you I didn't bet. you didn't own line wrenches before? I owned one, but I don't know where the hell it ever came from. I didn't buy it. See, and, and there you go, guys. That's what I say when he set up for doing this stuff, and I'm just winging it and dinging it. You know. Are those marked standard and metric or what? You got dang right they are. Yeah. Look at this. And, and sometimes you got to modify them so you can work on uh, new hauling, that, track, uh, new hauling tractors. The, oh, we're lagging now. Hey, you need to get your dial up working. What? Your dial up's lagging. Nobody's saying nothing, so just oh. quit talking about it. The, right. they're, it's Half of them are people from Kanukistan, so they don't even care. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I uh, I got a headache and I can't taste nothing, and that's why I'm still drinking soda because beer tastes absolutely terrible. And I've got like uh, 14 cases sitting back there that people have given me. And so you haven't had any beer tonight. I haven't um, had. I had one beer on Saturday when Iowa Classic Car Ryan was here, and it was so terrible that I couldn't even finish it. Well, never mind. I did finish it. But then I started drinking uh, uh, Morgan Diets, and those things are bad news. Those actually tasted pretty good, but I'm not a what mixed drink guy. Morgan Diet. <laughs> what do you guys call them? Uh, uh, 
uh, Captain Cokes. Is that what you guys call them down in the South? Captain Morgan and Diet Coke? Never heard of her. You're you're kidding me. No. Guys down there don't make, mix their drinks with Diet Soda. Everybody calls it pop up here except for me. Mm. Mm. I don't drink any of that stuff. Try not to. Not my favorite. What pretty, much a, pretty much a water, coffee, or beer kind of guy myself. Oh, oh man. Except I, I'll show you. I'll, here's the tech tip of the day right here. This, this is what you got to put in your coffee. Screwball. And if you mix this with your Dr. Pepper, it tastes like peanut butter and jelly. It's freaking mm. delicious. I, I had enough uh, peanut butter and jelly in the 69 single wide growing up that I ain't interested. Really? The tech tip of the day right there. I do like Tuss I, em. Tuss I, keep em. Pe I keep Pedialyte in the refrigerator and I hit water and Pedialyte throughout the day. Pedialyte's delicious. I say Pedialyte like I'm a name brand kind of guy. Like this crap ain't called Tippy Toes and ain't the knockoff version. <laughs> Tippy toes. It's called tippy toes. Why? When you what? The, when, when you take the crap? label off, the label says Pedialyte, really big. But when you read the small print, it says compare to, and then Pedialyte. But you save like three dollars, so you know that's like an hour's pay. So I mean, is that Tito's? Who can afford Tito's? We're not rich. I, I don't do the liquor anymore. I may do one shot here or there throughout the year, depending on the situation and the manipulation that falls on me during the uh, situation. But yeah, I, I used to be full whiskey. And about four years ago, I kind of switched over to beer. And I don't really. Straight, straight six fan says tippy toes and Tito's. Tippy toes and Tito's. Hey. Yeah. I bet, I bet that stuff with some uh, vodka would be pretty good because <laughs> there's so much sodium in it. it. It has that salty taste that I guarantee you that that stuff would mix. I ain't gonna try it, but if I well, Pedia, this somebody saying Peter likes five dollars a bottle, so Tippy Toe is only two bucks a bottle. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's practical. <laughs> hey, we gotta save money on Pedialyte. That way, we have money to spend on nice bibs. We can't buy no half-assed, cheap, quality bibs. Pudding is the rhyme master. That's what Chin's saying. I don't know what he's talking about. You don't know what he's talking about? No, he don't know what he's talking about. Uh -oh. My, well, who, my who, Legacy who, Garage is in here. Who's that? Never heard of her. He 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 got he got in trouble. The feller called him out too for for being a copycat. Oh as well. yeah, yeah. Feller. Can't tell a joke and work on a car. You'll be a copycat. That's why I call Tom uh, Tom Cat because he's the don't, copy. Don't don't have a beard and a Midwest accent either, because oh. you know. Hell, that's the one thing I got going for me. Hey, I'll tell you what. <laughs> since we're just throwing it all out there, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Whoa! Just just take a step back and think about what you're going to say next. No, no, I'm just going to say that. Someone asked if I was influenced by a feller. And I said, oh. I, can't, I can't hardly watch a feller, but you can't even tell a joke and turn a wrench without being compared to a feller. And then I said, also, I swear a feller could do a park it and mark it. <laughs> and then it would be that I copied him. Right. So, I mean, that that's what happens when you start playing with big dogs. And, you know, people got where they're at, you know. From putting in work, and I ain't saying he don't deserve to be there, but it's not anyway. It, it's not a hundred percent original, and we'll just leave it at that because I know who the king of that kind of stuff is in my mind, and it ain't him. His name's Redneck Red Restorations. You can catch Jody on there. What is that? Yeah. No, that that ain't his name. Jody's the weld monger, the welder guy. I just mixed that up. What was that guy's name? Redneck Restorations. If you ain't checked that dude out, I used to watch that dude when I was like in around 2009, 2010. I love that guy. Redneck Restorations. How many how many people you think we got in here right now, Pudding? Oh, shit. Well, I'm on this. We've been on here for an hour. Hell. Uh, there's, there's 550 people in here watching this garbage. Did I just help you break a record or what? 
I don't know. What do we have? I think we've had. I think we've had close to four hundred before, but I mean, we blew that out of the water. Mm. Oh, that's, that's, You're that's welcome. I, I like reading the comments. I'm. I, I have been doing a terrible job reading them. Straight six fan goes. That's why I'll never get accused of copying a feller. I can't tell jokes to a camera, so I just wrench and take forever. Well, if you're gonna tell jokes, at least make them funny. Well, there's there's a fine line. Like you could tell really crappy jokes. And like just the way you do it is funny, or you can yeah. tell a funny joke. If you wanna, if you want a fine example of that, look at Kevin Hart. He's not that funny, but his delivery and his body language is what makes it half funny. Honestly, I mean, I'm not saying I don't laugh in any of the stuff he's in, but when you listen, to like what he's saying, what he's saying ain't that funny. It's how he delivers it, which is why I get that arm swing going. You know, everybody loves that crap because who who can't help but love that? You know? <laughs> And that's just, you know, that's when we're selling something around here, that's how you lean on the car and you swing that arm to sell it to them. So I'm just showing y'all what goes on around here. <laughs> I tried. I was like making a thumbnail. And I was like watching all your, your stupid uh, park it and markets. And I'm like, next thing you know, I'm like 20 minutes Practicing into it. it. No, I'm just like, I'm just like 20 <laughs> yeah, minutes into it. Right, like, oh, crap. Yeah, I need a thumbnail. Good. The that one where you just like good. slapped it on the side, you're like, oh yeah, right here, I tell you what. Uh, you, you don't get into them like that? That's not a oh. I I got I got we did an 80 Camaro here a week or so ago. And that one I, I kind of got into that one. I, I got the mullet out again and I okay. may have bought some new apparel. And I got some apparel. I bought I picked up a Jaguar. So Ooh. Hey, I done found out from like four <laughs> comments on mine. You can't call them a Jaguar like I do. It's a, what do they say? A Jaguar? Jaguar. Jaguar. You got to say it proper or you're going to get hung in the comments. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. you need to do, well, half, was it half ass? Somebody Couple said they bucks for the starter fund. You could use that, buddy. You are the starter king. Hey, I'll tell you what. You are I'm out about of starters. Small block Chevy starters. I had like a pallet full of them that I've been saving for 10 years. And they're gone now. From all these stupid you, well it runs, they're gone. You talk about what we're going to do when we finally get to meet up or come, you know, if you come down here, or, you know, whatever. If I come up there, it's probably going to be in a load star with a flatbed. And I'm coming back with a 36 International on the back, just so people know. I ain't going up there to play games. Uh, but if you come <laughs> Why don't down we here, just, let's just, let's just sit down and figure something out and I'll bring one of those down to you and we'll find something dry down there. Cause I clearly am not going to fix eight 34 to 36 internationals. So yeah. And I'm so jealous. Y'all don't realize like down here in Oklahoma, that's like gold. And then I like tell him that he's like, I got, or, I got like how you're giving away a, or you're giving away a hundred dollar square body Chevy box, and I've got one here that's just complete right? garbage. That Everything's I'm spend. so fast backwards. I'm like, I'm like, I can't even sell that bed for two hundred dollars, and it's like super straight, rust free, and everyone's like, shit, I'll give you twenty five dollars for it around here because it ain't no big thing because it's a long bed, and then every international down here because there's only been two for sale in the last six years, seventy five hundred dollars. I'm like, y'all are nuts. And then I, I look up there north and I see that they're cheaper up there. And then I hit old Mortski up and he's like, yeah, I got 17 of them. I store, you know, Camaro rally wheels on them because they just take up space. I ain't got no Camaro rally wheels. What do you think? I'm rich. I like how I was talking like my dad, but try to like imitate you. And then you've imitated me. But then people are like, oh, you can imitate him, but they want me to imitate you. And I'm like, there ain't no chance in hell. I'd have to, you know, get the books for eight months and study to make that happen. I can't do any kind of accent. I tried Australian once in the Corolla video. Crikey. Yeah, crikey. Oh. This Put another shrimp head. on the bobby. <laughs> this bugger here is ready to attack. I, I, yeah, that's what about I'm all do I got. I'm gonna go right behind this alligator right now. I'm gonna tickle its anus and see what happens. Uh, yes, I, I sold the C10 long bed. Actually, I sold it. Unsold oh, don't, it. don't! You're gonna get somebody mad. You're I don't gonna care. get somebody mad. <laughs> that guy didn't hold up his end of the deal. 
I sold it to him cheap as hell for him to pick it up the next day and or that the next day would have been Friday and or at the latest Sunday. And a week and a half later, I was call or calling him going, hey, I just sold it to someone else. I didn't break the deal. He did. If he would have picked it up Friday or Sunday, it wouldn't have still been here for me to sell. So you can't get mad at someone for selling something if you don't hold up your end of the bargain. So, so Iowa classic car Ryan was up here and he picked up that 59 on Saturday. Hey, screw you, Joseph. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> he said, hey, well, he spelled hell wrong. And I don't, I, you know, I and usually don't he, poke out. And then, and then he spelled pudding with a G. Oh, yeah. He's on the shit list. I couldn't even get a 64 going. I couldn't. That car would not run. And I, I told I told Tom, I said, I wish you were here because I feel like I'm overlooking like one small thing. But it had compression. Every valve was opening. Had it's good a, spark. Had it's fuel. a small block Chevy. Anybody can make a small block Chevy run. Not pudding. Not pudding. You need to you – did you watch my Y block video a couple months ago when I where it exploded? Me? Yeah. I've included it in my video. So yeah, oh, I've seen that one. So <laughs> you gotta watch the one from this week. I you know that uh, hot sauce bottle that I spray in the carburetor? Yeah. I was like I was like, one of these days this thing's gonna catch on fire. It backfired and it lit that bottle on fire. Oh yeah, that's good. That was <laughs> I I actually managed to catch that video at one point that I can't speak on. But then I went to comment and I was not logged into my own channel or whatever. And it made the video restart. And I'm just trying to be all like secretive here and tell you I watched it at work. But uh, <laughs> you'll, yeah, you'll swear to everything. But like, just so you guys know, I watch, I watch more scam at work sometimes. <laughs> like, like, like anyone at work. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, I was I was sitting on my throne with my bibs around my ankles watching it, you know. But Yeah. Yeah, I was taking a mean shit. <laughs> no, I've, I've actually had people tell me that's the only time they watch my videos, which I appreciate them watching, but I don't know if to take that as like a, a compliment or like, hey, thanks, man. You know, just wipe, wipe good afterwards or whatever. You know? <laughs> Like, how am I supposed to respond to that? You know? I had somebody comment that, oh, man, I want to finish this video, but my legs are all numb. <laughs> like, Pull them straight, stretch them out, and finish the damn video. Let's get the ads. <laughs> Dedication. <laughs> yeah. Let's start doing some stretches in the morning or something. They want to know what kind of jet you worked on. Uh, B-52. The flying buff. Anyone know what buff stands for? Someone in the comments. Big, will know it. big, ugly, and fat. Buzz. Shoot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my sister texts me. My sister's watching the comments better than us. She said, "Please tell Andy I worked on jet engines." She said he's commenting all the time, and we're just like sitting here talking. I worked on jet engines. I worked on the TF-33. We'll, we'll, we'll have to get Nicole to set up as a, what do you call a moderator or whatever. <laughs> uh, man, her talked about one day her like being my kind of like manager and helping and me actually teaching her how to edit where I don't have to do it all. That way I can be working, you know, and creating the content where she can be editing it and getting it out, you know, way on down the road, which would be pretty cool. We'll yeah. see. Big ugly flying fortress. That's close to what we called them. The last word's wrong, but it does start with F and rhymes with uckers. <laughs> oh, smuckers. Yeah. Like. Fluckers, you know, with a FL. Would you put a jet helicopter engine on a cow? I never touched a helicopter. I have no interest in flying in them. And I don't know deadly about motorcycles, so it's probably a big negatory pig pen. Pig pen. You ever watch out cold? He's had a he's had a crush on that bench for a long time. All right. The only thing I remember about that movie Out Cold is uh, the hot tub. <laughs> he, was, he was all up inside it, loving it strong. <laughs> that dude's funny. What's his name? 
that's the bald guy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That streets, that guy's funny in movies. The streets were running with latte. <laughs> Challenge the mayor's son to a gentleman's duel. I'm not I'm not good on movies like everyone else. Like oh, so it, like so you, you can reference movies, you're gonna like my buddy Taylor. He can he can hit you with every funny one liner from any movie ever. Like he's good like that. And uh I don't know, I just I never watch movies. So if I if I remember something, it's from like ten years ago. So I'm always riding the struggle bus just to remember stuff from ten years ago. <laughs> well, it's funny because like Chin does my editing or whatever, and he's ten years younger than me. And he's never seen most of these movies. So like I'll be like filming there doing my thing or whatever, and I'll be like, Hey, you should cut into this video right about now and put the Charlie Sheen wild wild thing from uh whatever the hell movie that was. He like has to go look up what these videos are and then try to find the clip because he has absolutely no idea what I'm referencing. My uh, my one where I like legit knew what it was and this this crap cracked me up. All right, my buddy Taylor, his uh, his uh, what how how do people say it nowadays? Baby mama, his baby mama. <laughs> how do they Bitch. say it? What did they say it back? In, how did they call it back in your day? Yeah, the side I chick. Don't. Never had them. Uh, <laughs> she's deaf, so she can't hear nothing. Deadly. Actually, I done told him. I said that's a lie. I said I she knows too much is going on and not be able to hear a little bit. Like I, she's got you fooled. But Taylor's like full fluent in sign language, so like they're they're good together because he can talk to her and he's got some funny stories. You'll have to talk to him. And yeah, we can't put those on the on the YouTube television set. But nonetheless, I don't think she or he had seen Major Pain. So I was like, dude, you got to watch Major Pain. Like, that's a classic. So we went and got it. This is Major long... League. That's the video. Sorry. Major League. That's that's oh. the video I was talking about with Charlie Sheen and the wild thing. Yeah. And, Back before uh, he had AIDS. I, I threw this in my in the junkyard walkthrough at the DNH Classics when I hit the handle and said kill. And then it shows Major Pain and he hits that juice and he yells. I just always thought he yelled like, Get, like did like some grunt noise but we had subtitles on because she was deaf so she can't hear so she has to read it and he yells kill when he hits that juice can and i thought that was the funniest shit ever because he was just opening a juice can and yelled kill and i laughed about that for like 20 minutes or i i couldn't finish the movie because i was laughing over the fact he yelled kill at a juice can so now anytime i gotta hit something i yell kill <laughs> thanks for major pain <laughs> Andy's Andy's throwing a few bucks our way, so thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. And everybody else, who, I don't know. Putin, Putin hasn't really done one of these lives before, and I'm really terrible at this. It's it's usually easier when it's me by myself, but with us going back and forth, it's really hard to try to keep up with all you guys' comments and stuff. So anybody that has donated, you know, or whatever you want to call it, put money in the chat. We really appreciate it. <clears throat> thanks oh. a lot. Dude, you're slacking. Andy's easily donated $15, and I know that because I watch the comments. Well, it has nothing to do with the fact that my sister just texted me. <laughs> we need to. Because we're talking about freaking major pain of all things. We need to get her uh, get her set up as a moderator. Whatever. Oh, she'll, she'll be we, split in here. <laughs> we literally have no idea what we're doing here. No, we're just talking. Uh, Somebody says, are you interested in a free inline 6 252 Chevy motor, 45,000 miles, new reman, carburetor, and HEI. Also comes an engine, standard Grand Forks. Heck, yes, I am. Grand yeah. Forks. That ain't that far away. That's only like it, three and a half hours. something for sure. I like those little uh, two, go live. We are two, live. Two, <laughs> 230, 250s. They're good engines. What was the <laughs> grossest <laughs> thing you guys have found in a rescue vehicle? Ugh. Probably if you guys go watch that 56 Ford bus that I did, that thing had some coon turds in it that were like just monstrosities. So Someone commented on my video this morning and said in the last video when I pulled that rat's nest or that mouse nest out from that bottom seat of that Datsun 210, that a dead uh, mouse fell out of it. And I never seen that. I ain't watched the video back because I don't care. Like usually after I handle that stuff, I make sure to go eat. That way it builds my immune system. Uh, Andy, I was at Barksdale in Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, 
I, probably that, I guess. If I really did touch that dead mouse, I don't know. I found a, or I bought an 08 Crown Vic that was an ex-detective car. I'm trying to dig in my toolbox and find it. But underneath the back seat, I found a clip full of 380 shells, and then I found a wedding band in the back. So apparently somebody uh, was trying to get their handcuffs off, I'm assuming. They had them behind their back, and they like wedding ring <laughs> fell off in the back of the cop car. And then, uh, yeah, a clip full of 380 shells. But that was, I mean, that's probably the coolest thing that I've ever found in a car. The, the dry gas tanks of, uh, here. What's that? The dry gas tanks here. He's like. That's his name? Trash pants. Yeah. I found no. a used condom under a back seat in a junkyard once. How do you know it was used? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I have protein, protein still baked in it or what? Uh, oh, don't you dare. Uh-oh. What's did you get Nicole all excited? She's typing in capital letters now. I, I don't get that because I said dry gas tank. I don't know if she thought I was talking about her, but I was definitely talking about the old car guy. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keith got it. Keith's laughing at it, old car guy. Don't don't be a wank, fill your tank. Yeah, and then Iowa Classic Car makes it eight miles south of town and runs out of fuel, so I had to go rescue him on Saturday. All right, so here here we go. I'm not the greatest at this. Salem, VA, that's Virginia, right? VA? Yeah. I know what OK is. Paranormal, we got damn ghost hunters in here. <laughs> he wants a shout-out from Salem, VA. So shout-out to the ghost hunters. Y'all got bigger cojones than me because I ain't messing with that kind of stuff. Do we know anything about Sunbird scooters? You ever heard of a Sunbird scooter? I don't know anything about Sunbird scooters. Not once. Kevin found a tube of KY in the console of a Yoda. <laughs> Score! I, I got, it. I got another Yoda out there right now with one. Oh, Nicole's giving you the finger now. You got her all fired up. Well, if she got beef, she can text it to me because I don't know what she's talking about. She'll text me. I'm watching Never, it. She must have graduated. In that picture, she's got one of them them hats on. So she must she must be the educated one in the family, huh? She's pretty smart. She's pretty smart. What what's she do? Doctor? Uh, no, Lawyer? she's actually she's actually a manager at a Ferguson. Uh, I I don't know all the different branches of Ferguson, but a Ferguson like plant or yard or something. You know, they do with like plumbing and pipe and stuff. She's a plant manager, I think. <laughs> I may have said that wrong, but she'll correct me. She's, she's experienced in laying the pipe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're walking on soft ground right now. I done, I done drove to Stillwater once. Waterworks, yeah. Morsky's eyes are about to be at Waterworks when I bop them <laughs> in the nose. Now I can't stop looking at your stupid eyes. Your wife had to tell me that. And now you're like. The, the more beer I drink, the worse it gets. I'll oh, really? be laying there. Now, granted, I do fall asleep nine out of ten movies. But the time, like, because we, we have family movie night or whatever pretty often. And I try my hardest. I really do. But there's some nights I get into some of these dumb kid movies. And I'm, like, legit watching them. And she's like, you're asleep. And I look at her. And I'm like, you know. Whatever. I, I, I can quote the whole movie that's happened so far. But uh yeah, I know that the eyes just get worse as we go later into the night. And then when I wake up, there's people who's commented when you can tell I wake up at like five thirty or six and I get outside and start making a video. People are like, What the hell? Did you just wake up? And I'm like, Yeah, it's five thirty in the morning on my day off. What are you doing? Sleeping, you know? <laughs> Talk crap to me. Keep watching my videos though, please. <laughs> <laughs> It's like all the people I, like, oh, I, I like talking crap to everyone, but I need them to support me. But I do like talk, talking crap. I'm a crap talker. The I like the guys who talk crap about telling you how you're doing everything wrong. And you're like, hey, go start your own channel. I appreciate yeah. you watching, though. Thanks a lot. Dude, I, I, got, I got like that for like the longest time where I'm like, dude, you should totally make a video and upload and show how to do it. Sounds like a great idea. Never happens. <laughs> But be sure to tell me how I do it wrong when I'm sitting here telling you I'm not a sheet metal guy and I'm not this and I'm not that. I'm just trying it and throwing it on camera for people to watch. Well, now you tell got me that. how I did it wrong. 
Yeah, now you got that intro where you're like, "Hey, don't don't get all offended." Oh, now you're right. gonna come up here. That that's my easy go to now. I'm like, "Hey, buddy, I made an intro for you." You know, don't take it too serious. About time, Duff, come to play. Hell, he's been just hanging out and napping. I owe this to everybody. It's a rough said, life. I ain't said shit in a while, so ain't nobody been drinking. So we gotta <laughs> we gotta take a couple drinks because I said shit. Oh man. So you pour you some whatever it is, some freaking some, diet, some, diet cocos or whatever. Screw screwball and Dr Pepper. All right. Is that like the northern version of Jack and Coke? No, it's it's peanut butter whiskey, and you mix it with Dr Pepper, and it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly. Mm. Ask uh, Bobby, Bobby Sakatash. He knows what's up. That screwballs, it's pretty good. And it goes really good in coffee. Oh, I do like whiskey with coffee. So that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I need them girls because when it was when it was just old single pudding, uh, liquor went in everything. So she's kind of striking me up some. Pretty Ooh, good. That's, a, that's a good name. I should start calling it Dr. Screw. That's a good idea. Dr. Dr. Screw. Dr. Pepper and Screwball. Dr. Screw. Cracking and Dr. Pepper. I like your intro. I like yours too, Keith. I don't know if you have one, but I do appreciate <laughs> like mine. Hillbilly Jim Catfishing. I just like your name. Some of the names that people have are just. Dude, that's the best. Like, I thought my dad just went catfishing. <laughs> Hillbilly Jim's out catfishing. Yo, Billy Jim, you got a video like well, you do. You can't. Oh, of course. Now my computer wants to do a restart. Don't hit the wrong button. Don't it. Oh, fixed it. Page and Dr. Screw. <laughs> that's pretty good. How did you guys connect? Well, that's a good one. Grinder. I feel like uh, how we connected was a good story. People's been waiting to hear because. I think for a while we had people convinced we wanted to whoop each other's ass no, or something. Somebody, somebody up top commented that, like, when's the boxing match? Oh, hell. Uh, what was it? Could you, I could, just, could you picture me in some cutoff bibs, <laughs> but, like, built, like, freaking boxing shorts, and my boxing gloves are, like, over oversized on purpose, like clown gloves, but they got the same pinstripes? Put them in the Match matching pinstripes on your uh, boat <laughs> boat shoes that you're wearing right now. Are they what are they? Uh, we call, I don't know. I call them boat shoes. Boat with boat. a T or ch B O A T boat. boat like shoes. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump oh, in my I, my watercraft and go out on the water. A boat. Uh, I always called them prison shoes because that's where I got my first set. <clears throat> now you're ruining boat shoes for me. No, man, don't wear them. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Pudding doesn't. You don't know what grinder is, Pudding. You, you didn't even catch that when I said we, we made uh, a no, grinder. Yeah, you, you said that once, and I had to look it up. Because, <laughs> you didn't like, want to hit me with my first name. She's like, I am not calling him Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> boat shoes. Yeah. See, everybody's uh, all excited about your boat shoes, prison shoes, deck shoes. Howdy, boys. Don't be lonely at internationalsonly.com. <laughs> it is pretty lonely in the international world, and I'll tell you why. Because nine out of ten people who like internationals want them restored original. And as y'all can tell, I do a pretty good job of not meeting that criteria. So, yeah, everyone basically hates that I mess up Didn't the internationals like that. Who 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 called it fake patina? Was that, was that the feller? That, that was a freaking idiot. And I'll call him an idiot because he's a dumbass. Like his whole his whole channel is based off of roasting people, right? It's called oh, like regular that car. guy. He it's sucked the, at it. Sorry. He's the regular car reviews guy or something. And I knew literally nothing about this guy, right? And he, he gets entered as a judge in the D Boss Garage car show. And he's like, Oh man, you know, show me your personality. I'll roast you and eat your soul alive. Who entered a video with more personality than me doing a damn park at market? Nobody. He shows none of the park at market and he tries to critique the travel law and his whole bitching and complaining is that it's fake patina when it's, I can't say a hundred percent 
patina because I did fix like two little rest spots and I moved the gas filler, but that's all natural patina. You're talking about like 98% of it is, oh, and you can tell it's not natural patina because where the rust is, how he painted it. I'm like, oh my Lord, you're an idiot. He's hey, an idiot. And you, you know, he's an idiot and just a guy who freaking stands at a computer screen and talks crap because during that time period, because I just knew I was going to like excel at the roast main. Not that I'm like salty about it. I just did it for the exposure. I didn't really think like, I thought I'd give him a really good platform to roast me on. You're like and he, Luke from Wilson Auto Reaction, just rambling on about, about how you entered in 92 different categories. And now, oh, I should have won. Who's that? <laughs> you. Oh. Did, did you see what uh, DB Speed Shop said? Something's wrong with your sound. You sound or you, you sound funny, uneducated, maybe. Oh, no, that's probably because his dick brooms covering his ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scrolling uh, up. <laughs> I don't want to get in a one on one with me in a how many, contest. How many people in your videos have referred to an international as a 13 letter shit spreader? Everybody thinks that is the funniest saying ever. In that yellow international I did, I must have seen it in there 96 times. I'm like, yeah. oh, like I haven't heard that a million times. Uh, way, to, way to be uh, original, guys. I don't think it's as common down here because like internationals aren't popular at all. You know, I, they're somewhere from up north, right? Like they were produced up there somewhere. Like everyone thinks I'm an international export and I don't know shit about them. I find the ones with cool patina bodies and I take the bodies off and I get rid of everything else. So I don't, I don't really know a lot about them. I thought this VIN plate would say where they're made, but it doesn't. Somebody will comment. Il Illinois? Uh, like, are they yeah, in Illinois? Yeah. You keep an international VIN plate in your wallet. I forgot. Yeah, you know, you never know when you need them. I got to go drain the train whistle. I'll be back. Oh, International Harvester Company, Chicago, Illinois. I was right. Did I get it before anybody else was in there? Yeah. Oh, any more than three shakes and it's playing with yourself, Pudding. So... You guys could say anything you want about Puddin' right now. You could say anything you want about him the whole time because he, he can't read anyway. Driving the oil field, those IH trucks do well. I'm a Western Star guy, though. The Western, they even still make Western Stars? Keeping close to home. Yes, it's his. What are we talking about? Right. Newer ones are built in Racine, Wisconsin. Well, they're, I don't think they're called international. I think they're called uh, – what do they call them now? It's not international. It's called – uh, Navistar. Are they called Navistars or do they still call them international? They were Navistars when I was programming them. I've only got that thing on a couple of my videos, actually. Pete says us guys are helping keep him from paying for cable. Who's paying for cable? What, in, <laughs> instead of paying for cable, he watches us idiots. Oh. Well, that's good because I don't support Navistar. cable either. Yeah. This is YouTube. Fine. You guys familiar with Casey's Customs? Yeah, I watched Casey's Customs. He like made a put a fifty three F one hundred on a Crown Vic chassis, and I think Crown Vic chassis are dumb because I did one, and so I feel like I could whatever. Queen <laughs> Queen DB says cable is where the free porn is. Well, when you got you when got, you got an iPhone, you got when, it in your pocket. When, when you got Mustache Dan, yeah. Free porn. Yeah, you got the live version. Yeah. Go hate it. Go see what old car guy said. Me? Yeah. Oh. He we says, gonna start having, we're gonna tell, start having a roast fest. <laughs> tell putting it's illegal. Them. It's illegal for a grown man to play with a little boy's penis. <laughs> 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 you know. Uh, this, say? Is, this is going off the rockers. It's persistent. That's, we'll leave yeah, it at that. Do a school bus. What would it do as a school bus? I don't. I just sold a school bus. I gotta market go. Market is the best. Fell out of my chair when I saw the shirtless overalls. People get legit mad that I don't have a shirt on. Like that. That blows my mind. I can have bibs on, where you can't even see my beer belly. It's not like I got like a fro hanging out the sides or some kind of stuff. You can't even hardly see my 
nips half the time. Like, Put a damn shirt on. And I'm like, you ain't never been to a swimming pool? Like, calm down there, damn Leroy. It ain't freaking 1940 anymore. So, no shirtless. So, Puddin, why do you why do you not like flexi hoses? Somebody asked me why I don't like flexi hoses. Why do, why do you not like them? But to me, it just looks cheap. I mean, yeah, it works. And for like for like a will it run, you know, honestly, like I think you'd even admit it'd be smart to keep a couple of them because you can kind of get it there unless it's like you where you have like your own O'Reilly's at your damn shop. You know, for me, it'd be smart to have one because, hey, yeah, we got it going, but it looks like trash. Like if it's something you're actually building, a flexi hose don't go on there. And we're not singling out DD Speed Shop. But if he's listening, and if he would find a freaking upper radiator hose that would fit, it would sure look better. I mean, the the breather opening at the same time as the throttle, that looks good. So let's get a flex, or, you know, get rid of the flexi hose. I'm not hating. I, I just like stuff to look clean. And Well, I don't, one thing, I don't like them because my, my grandpa, so my grandpa run a shop since 1946 and now my uncle runs it so that's kind of where i grew up and learned a lot of this stuff and he hated them because you know you got a neck here and a neck here and well that thing wants to pull straight so it it's it like would crack the neck on the radiator oh that's yeah, why that makes he, sense. that's why he didn't like them all the vibration I mean, but it, like, it's pretty, it's remember how i told you that guy recognized me the other day and he's like yeah. hey yeah you're mordsky or whatever so i go to his shop and this is what he's got if i can get this to work oh yeah. his, so he like bent up that tube and then put two elbows on there. And it's like, that's what you do. You know, everyone's like, oh, I, I don't have a, a radiator hose to put up. I mean, I'm sitting here talking crap. And if I can just tell on myself right now, the upper radiator hose on the truck, the OD or the, and I, uh, the OG, the OG fab shop truck. No, the OD and the ID. I was going to oh. say the OD, but it's technically both. They're a little too big and I haven't clamped down, but it was, I spent like four days in a row going to O'Reilly's and stuff, you know, looking for the right one. And I found, finally found one that was the right shape, but it's a little too big. And I haven't replaced it since because it holds. But every time I pop the hood, like luckily pretty much everyone looks over it. But me, I'm like, oh, you know, it's like it's the one detail where I feel like I cut it, that it, little corner. It looks like the guy with a 42 waist with a, with a size 28 belt on. And it's just like... <laughs> Pretty Just much. Tie it, if we weren't on a laptop, I'd take it. And, yeah, I'll show you. But yeah, I ain't, I ain't that coordinated. Flexible. I've been, I, I'm still trying to figure out how come my my hands on the left right here, but on the screen it's on the right, and vice versa. You know, it's because we're on opposite sides of the equator. It makes sense <laughs> if you don't think about it. I mean, you're way up there. You need to come down here. But yeah, it makes sense. We got a lot less rusted vehicles, but dude, you come a lot across a lot of stuff. Like I, I talk to people from up north, and they're like, "Oh, we ain't got no cars." And then every two days, you're sending me pictures of yards with like a hundred cars in them. I'm like, people obviously ain't looking hard enough. Because well, and I don't like those yards like that. I like finding the guy who's got like two or three out back. You know that? Like I just yeah. found a, a '57 Chevy four door yesterday. I got a buddy who drives truck, and he's like, "Hey, there's this '57 over here." And it's for sale because you find the guy who's got a hundred cars. It's like Jerry, and like that's yeah. that's that's full retail. And I if stuff like we're doing, I can't pay full retail. If I wanted to have one seven Chevy car, in full retail. Well, yeah, you are. <laughs> you're you're paying like full retail for a Datsun, though. Like it's not like real yeah. money. It's Datsun money. It's JDM <laughs> money. <laughs> See how high, high pitch I get that? <laughs> what? What you talking about, okay. Willis? I'm about to I'll be in a, trouble. I, I'll be in in a minute. I'm I'm sorry. Don't hit me. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I just gotta go to Elegant Night. It's her bedtime at eight o'clock, so I go. And oh, aw, super dad. I am super dad. Thank you. I'll take that. There ain't. All right. I'll I'll, I'll, enter I'll entertain these guys for a while. We, we all know long. that we all know that you're just stepping off to to go rip your bong for a little bit and then coming back. Everyone's like shocked. I never touched that thing. We're at 600. I'm hoping and praying to God when I come back, we ain't 300 like your usual lives because obviously I'm selling it. <laughs> uh, 
You guys should all like say how Puddin is great. We miss Puddin. I'm leaving because Puddin's not here. And just say all that stuff. So he comes back and his head just swells up. He's like, yeah, Puddin's the greatest. We love Puddin. Puddin. Amazing. Puddin. I'm only here for Puddin. Uh, yeah, the revivals. Yeah, but it's tough doing these revivals, though. And like, I know there's probably some, like old car guy, you know, he's trying to do some and it's it's tough, like, Puddin only gets a day off here and there to do a revival where I just kind of freeload, do whatever I want. I got a pickup and trailer, so we run out and grab stuff. And it's a lot of work to do one of those revivals. And, you know, we've been doing one a week for, I mean, quite a while here. More junkyard tours. Yeah, we'll have to do some. It's tough to go find a junkyard where, like, they'll let you film because the ones that I go to usually are, like, private and they don't want people, like, no one about it and if you go to like open public ones they're all picked over and it's garbage or it's like super high priced stuff so i don't even want to waste my time walking through it if you guys want to see junkyard stuff go look at iowa classic car ryan he's got a lot of crazy stuff craziest junkyard experience i was at a junkyard outside of cranesburg south dakota and i told the guy hey we're going you know we're going to go get a rear end for a dana 44 out of international scout it's in my back here and uh the, and I, we came out there and it was like dusk as we're pulling out. Is that when it, what's, when it comes dark? But anyway, this guy was getting out of his pickup. We could see he's reaching behind his seat and he's shaking, old guy or whatever. And here he pulls a pistol out. And we're like, I'm all like calm, cool, and collective. I'm like, well, hey, we told you we were coming out here. And he's like shaking with this gun. So, yeah, I got a gun pulled on me one day. He didn't aim it, but he was like getting it out. It was uh, pretty intense. Yeah, Mr. Good Players, he goes through a lot of junkyard, but he is, I mean, the guy knows his stuff, but he's difficult to listen to. Um, there is no VGG guy in here. Yeah, Iowa Classic Car, he, he knows his stuff on the, like, 50, 58 to 64, and even the newer GM stuff, like the 65 to 70 GMs. Yeah, yeah, Sobering goes in, like, throws a battery in a 72 Chevelle that they traded a roofing job for and drove it on the trailer with Kregers and flexi hoses and spare equalizers in the trunk and all. And it had like an Oldsmobile quadra jet in there. Quadra jet? Quadra bog, whatever. Why don't you have a camera on top of this? What is this? I got the fancy plate out for my fancy bibs. You just now you're just gonna eat supper right in front of us? <laughs> I'd share if I could. I'm a nice guy. Duff and I right out of the hot dog buns. Gasser update. Who's got a gasser? I don't have a gasser. Putting you got a gasser? Negatory. Negatory. <laughs> yeah, we all somebody just said munchies. You went inside. Got higher than a kite. Now you got the munchies. I got two acres and three kids. Y'all think if I was going to get high, go in the damn house? <laughs> Maybe you went out back. That's basic physics. I'm trying to figure out who has a gasser. Glasser? What? A gasser. Yep. Someone no, said, I'm just I'm just reading all these comments. Oh. Glass are stupid. Yeah, you're a dumbass. <laughs> Who's the guy with the coveralls? Never seen him before. Looks like he likes mud flaps. <laughs> I I really like them if they got Yo Sam and Sam on them. Or or the oversized back girls. off. Is Santa smoking pot? I don't look like Santa yet, but I guarantee y'all when I I get older I will. When is the Sunday Model A? Wayne's a fan because he knows I call the Model A the Sunday Model A. Uh, the the Sunday Model A will be. I ain't decided yet if I'm gonna do the Lone Star first or the Model A. The Model A is gonna be easy. DD Speed Shop wants to know why the uh, best foods are are shaped like um, some some type of purple fruit banana thing or something 
because they're organic, dumbass. <laughs> Sorry, we can't start calling names. I talk I like talking crap though. I do. I just I try to keep it off my channel so I don't want to put it on yours. The Lodestar Gasser. Oh yeah, I guess that thing would be a straight axle oh. all nose high. Yeah, we're 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 idiots. Yeah. The Lodestar is a gasser. I've actually took it to like three three uh of the Southwest meetups now and won four point uh four races. So I took it at a three. Someone said drink, I must have said shit. You should uh so what do you suppose that thing would run in the quarter mile? You think you could be in the thirty second range? <laughs> I think I've had it in third and I have not gone faster than like twelve. <laughs> twelve so, miles per hour. Not so, not a twelve. So since pudding's going to be so annoying and eat in front of us when we're trying to do a live here, I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you what happened to the front of the Torola. Jimmy no. Bar Jimmy Bar wanted to see him drive around and send him a video, so he's recording on his phone driving around in the international, and it's got no brakes, and he went to turn it around, and it took forever to get bring it crank back around, and he smashed into his Torola with his Lodestar. And he didn't – you can see the truck go by and hit the toe roll up, but you can't, like, see it all because it's kind of happening off screen. So, the, like, literally the greatest footage ever, and it wasn't pointing the right way. This is a perfect time for me to eat because there's nothing to say. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys okay. just stay tuned. I, in, in my head at that time, I was the steering wheel warrior, and I could turn that. You know, steering wheel that has a diameter you, four and a half. Hey, 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 you were telling everybody how fast your hands are. Where was your fast hands at there, huh, Puddin? I wore them out flipping steaks on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't have it, okay? I realized I wasn't going to swoop by the Corolla. Okay, let's be honest. Let me paint a picture here. Oh, you guys, he's going he's gonna to pull the crayons out, guys. Corolla. I, I bet he's going to talk about leverage. If you watch Putin's videos, every video he sneaks in the word leverage hey, at some point. From being broke asses in the country, we had to rely on leverage a lot, and it works. Just ask the, uh, ask the Egyptians. They know about it. Y'all don't keep volleyballs in your shop? Anyways, Corolla camera on tripod i'm over here doing circles trying to show my dad shops like right here and in my mind i'm going to come out of this thing swoop in between here squeeze that son of a bitch between my camera the shop and the fence that's not very wide over there anyways and it more like went like this <laughs> i just smacked the shit out of the corolla and the corolla's defense it took that hit like an absolute champ. Like when I finally released the video and get the video made where people can see how hard I hit it with that load star, the fact that all I do is scratch the bumper and break a headlight and barely bend the hood was pretty impressive. So, so like here was, here was the toe roller, you know, just, just hanging out here off to the side of the camera. <laughs> here we go. Now I got time to eat pasta again. <laughs> And here comes oh, there's the one star. That's it. It's mustard it yellow. <laughs> he was coming around here like this. Just forget that my cab over doesn't have a whole front end. And then he was going to sneak back around this way. And then he was like. You, you know why your uh, cab over don't have a front end? Uh, now we are. Now literally Bobby has prophesied what would happen. Because here we are playing with Tonkas live. And people are watching this. <laughs> Oh, hey! People seem to be enjoyed it, enjoying it. So enjoyed it. How how drunk or and or high are you right now? I'm not high. I am feeling <laughs> pretty good. It's uh, 591 people are in this son of. A I'll tell y'all what. I was pretty nervous to go live. If I'm just being completely honest, because it. All right, you can watch one Putin's Fab Shop video, and you can see that I edit a lot. A lot of it is because I'm next to a highway, so there's always like ridiculous noises I got to get rid of. So I got to say things a few times. 
The other half of that is my mind can say stuff before my mouth can. So a lot of times I don't Wait, make sense. So I, I, I know everyone's. I feel like it's the other way around. Mind. I feel like your mouth is way faster than your mind. No, you're, <laughs> you're wrong. It is a hundred percent my lack of English and grammar. <laughs> And the oh, birds. Have you ever have you ever seen that movie from like the fifties or the sixties called The Birds? It's terrible, but you should put some clips in there because we all know that it's a bunch of old dudes that watch our stuff. And Nancy, Nancy's the best. She is the best. She sent me some mandates. I got a cabinet called the Nancy cabinet, and I'm waiting for her to stock that son of a bitch. <laughs> you uh, did you get did you get SpongeBob? No, she actually sent me some normal ones. Kind of hurt my feelings. Oh, she loves me more than she loves you. You got to rub it in. Now she, we're we're like we're like her adopted YouTubers. Now she's now she's gonna call you after this and be like, "Puddin, it's okay." Yeah. You know, I know your birthday is coming up, and I'll and, send you some Barney ones. Yeah, Barney is that even still a thing? I'm surprised I they haven't know. taken him off. They should the hell is with the birds put in new viewer uh i can't stand them <laughs> oh it's it's an alfred hitchcock movie you probably don't know who he is either though do you because nope. you're uneducated something like that <laughs> old old dude's guilty i'm not young oh no, yeah dragging. come yeah, on i mean listen if it comes down to it, will it run he's gonna whoop my ass if it comes down to movie knowledge he's gonna whoop my ass if it comes down to throwing a roundhouse, he ain't got a chance. <laughs> it comes down to whooping a bird, he ain't got a chance. And, you know, I, I would talk crap on fabricating, but he's actually I'll, really I'll just good fabricating. I'll just bust out the half-inch bar and stick it to you. A half-inch bar? Breaker bar. Mm -hmm. What is it? That's what really pisses me off. I, I don't really like the Fast and Furious movies, but, like, the, the original one... Vin Diesel talks about how his how his dad like busted a guy up at a race with like a three quarter inch breaker bar. Who owns a three quarter inch breaker bar unless you work in like the mining industry? Like that's that's like a huge piece of equipment. Why would you even have that? But then when he does a wheelie in a sixty eight or whatever charger, like riding on the Do you back have bumper, any clue how tight your lug nuts have to be when you downshift? in third gear and pull a wheelie right you gotta have a three-quarter inch breaker bar for sure <laughs> you owe me a six second car <laughs> what what he buy like a freaking i don't even remember some jdm stuff that you're into uh, whatever yeah, it is japan done messed up everyone thinks i'm into imports and i don't know a damn thing about them <laughs> Yeah, like this guy works at a John Deere egg shop and they barely even use a three quarter inch ratchet there. Use it for your semi wheels in the field. You don't like half inch, you can use up to like 250 foot pounds. What would you need to tighten more than that? A super with a 2J. Oh, you're getting all the. the, the oh, we're getting guys. details. It's a 2JZ. Uh. What's with, what's like, what is a 2JZ? Is a 2JZ like basically the 300 Ford of the it, world or it's what? It's the horsepower equivalent of two jacked zebras. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you come up with this stuff? Like, do you just like sit in the shower for two and a half hours at a time and be like, and I've been waiting for four and a half years for someone to ask about a 2JZ where I could use that. Oh, you're welcome. I, I like acronyms for sure. That's like my thing. Yo, and yeah. I hate. I hate when an acronym comes across that like one don't just come to my head, then it like becomes a challenge and I hate it. Uh, Enduro revival. I almost killed myself on one of those, like one of the first times I got on two wheels, not interested. I'm not they're a talking about like guy. enduro cars, like a 74 Monte Carlo enduro car, you know, with the oh. lights. I thought the that's what they spokes. called them motorcycles. Motorcycles, engine sickles. Oh, shoot. Coastal Auto guys are in here. Straight six Toyota engine with a turbo. No big deal. Don't do no they all big. have they all have turbos? All the two Jay-Z's? Probably makes as much horsepower as a 305. <laughs> That's going to piss off people. 305 H2O. 
Man, I, I thought we had a bunch of old guys in here, but at the same time, we got a bunch of JDM guys. I know we, we don't we don't pissed off all the JDM folks. <laughs> we lose half our subscribers. We didn't realize they were all JDM people. They're like the, the J Japan done messed up was funny, but that's just one. I cannot believe. All right, I hate to get off JDM. I cannot believe that no one's asked about the damn microfibers hanging on the truck. Those weren't staged or nothing. Dear Mr. Roundhouse Pudding Tang, what is going on with the microfiber cloths on your truck? Oh, please do tell us. As you may see, the travel all shining very good. Oh, watch this, guys! I can mute him so when he's when he's trying to drop his uh, his do his name drop in here for. These are rags that smell great because they got the sweet patina sauce on them. Dude, you got to get some of this stuff. I don't even care if you put it on nothing. Just to smell it. I, I'm not That's it. I'm not into huffing solvents. I'm sorry. I, I'm not saying you should be. It's a natural air freshener. That's why I keep them on the truck like that. It ain't <laughs> about promoting nothing. It's the fact that once you use like three rags, you can just hang them. And the whole shop smells badass. It's good. I'm just saying. And that's and that's why I don't like uh, you know Puddin's Fab Shop um, air fresheners hanging from my mirror because I I could care less what my garage smells like. Bobby Bobby Suckatash said he was afraid to ask what all the rags were in the back. He thought maybe you got a little excited with uh, the way it was all polished balls. up. I can't ever get the logo right. I say it in every video. So what um, is it? Never What's showed the logo. So we'll let you we'll let you do it. So you got what is it? PFS sixty four. Damn right. So go go to uh, Sweet Patina, buy something, and then put in the code. This beer's PFS been sitting 64. in that bed for three freaking hours, waiting for someone to ask. Now I, I know we ain't been on for three hours yet, but we've been close to two hours, and I did stage it a long ass time ago, and I'm still gonna drink it. I don't care. It's still cold because this co koozie does such a good job. You should get one. <laughs> No, this stuff really smells good. And it does a good job. Like, I'm so tired of hearing clear coat. And I know I'm going to piss off some people saying that. But have you ever clear coated rust? Like, that's legit heavy rust. Everyone says clear coat it. You know what happens in a year when you go to the car wash and power it wash? All, it all peels off and you've got it. It starts mess. flaking off. And then you got to get the clear, coat, the clear coat off the good paint where it actually stuck to because you scuffed it there. Yeah. And you're left with a mess. And it don't work. So, yeah, quit believing television. Just yeah. believe me. Um, a, you, look at me. You can believe me. <laughs> <laughs> would you that let me take like, your daughter out? No, but would you believe me that I know about crappy old vehicles? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. No, I had a 53 Ford that the guy clear coated it's, and it was it like had great patina, but like the clear coat was just flaking off in huge spots and he just pissed me off that they ever did that. And so anytime that anybody says clear coated, it's like, do you know how much effort it would take to put into it to make that clear coat hold up? It's totally not worth it. The hipster beer is super on sale at Costco where you can buy everything in bulk for anyone who wants to know why I'm drinking hipster beer. So there's like two kinds of beer that I can't drink and that's Miller Lite and what's, what's Costco's, um, they sell like 48 packs of something. Beer. I had never been to a Costco until the day I went to Top Golf, and that crap happened. And then we went to Costco. I'd never been to one, so they had Blue Moon on sale in like the super huge box, and it come out to like less than like a dollar a beer. And for a glass bottle of Blue Moon, that's pretty cheap. And then I tried some IPA. Oh, it's not good, <laughs> you know. My, my buddy Carlos is going to throw down on tacos this weekend. Kirkland. Kirkland beer. That guy, that stuff is terrible. Like, you you take a sip of it, and you're like, this ain't that bad. Remember the old Miller Lite bitter beer face commercials? PBR, from, there we go. I'm sorry. When we were kids, the, the old bitter beer face commercials from Miller Lite back in the day, they're like, like that. That's what that freaking, uh, Ugh. It, was, it was bad. Someone just said beer float, blue moon with vanilla ice cream. You couldn't pay me. I don't like... I don't like sweets. I'm not a dessert kind of guy. I'd rather eat more like real food. <laughs> I, do, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'd rather have more of the entree. You want me to get all fancy? No appetizers, please. No dessert. Just bring me three entrees. Meat and potatoes. <laughs> yeah. 
Hell, that works. We got a. He still gotta, had the bitter beer face. My bad. Next time you come down, you like to talk about grilling. We got a plenty of fresh butchered cow right in there. So yeah, good steaks. Damn so, right. So, so do the neighbors know that their dogs are missing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they heard the screams. Now, have you had fresh butchered cow? Everyone wants to know about car stuff between us, and all I care about steak now. Are you? Like, are you, you? Do you know where I live? I mean. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, there's like my, my college roommate, they, I don't know, probably have like 800 or 2,000 head of black Angus. So, okay. I mean, yeah. So, I'm, oh, you're going to bring some down with the 36 International. So, now now my grand total is like 600 bucks. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, hell, I can afford that. Yeah. That, she, like Jen says, we can get hams at the grocery store in town here. Oh man, I lost the damn thing. I need to look. I got to look in the bed of the free tin before that guy comes and gets it. In the Lodestar, I've been meaning to tell you this. In the Lodestar, in that whole packed rat's nest, there was an old uh, bottle opener and it's stamped with hams. And I want to give it to you if I can find it. But that dad's cleaning all that crap out of there. I, any of the stuff I wanted to keep, I set on the back of the C10 and then I forgot. I set it back there and I've moved it around. So I'm just hoping it ain't fell out, you know, because I put the whole bed and everything. An old, is it like the flat straight one or is it round at the end, like a church key? I think that's what they call a church key, the old guys. No, it, it, it's the flat straight one with the little prong on the one end and the pointed tip on the other. Yeah. If you already got one, I ain't going to give it to you. Screw you. No, I, I got a couple of them. Like the two that you always find are hams and grain belt up here. Once in a while you find a PBR one. Oh, Coastal wants to send me a, a special package. Send it uh -oh. down. Uh-oh. P.O. Box in the, the description. <laughs> Anyone who wants to send me anything. I like doing mail time. My Blue's Clues little thing. Blue's Clues? Oh, yeah, that's right. You snuck that in on that one. Nobody See, liked it. I only got one. I only got one comment, and it was a thing on uh, Instagram where someone messaged me. No one in the comments liked it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I can't. I'm like a kid, so like as soon as I get the packages, I got to open them like before I even leave the parking lot at the post office. So I'm no good at it. And plus, I don't trust any of you because I feel like half the people are going to send me like spam or yeah, double-ended big rubber flexi yeah. hoses and. God well, knows I, I wasn't going to say flexi hose. I was thinking something else that may be <laughs> You're pink sick. With a, You're, get your mind out of the gutter. Some, something else that's pink with a suction cup on the other end or something. But I, yeah, I, I wouldn't open it live. I'd already open those. <laughs> oh, that's, that was, oh, yeah. Tell everybody about how that one thing that you opened, you're like, oh, so and so sent me some. Uh, it, it was the anti aging cream. Yeah. <laughs> or gel or whatever the hell it was is all natural 100 percent organic and i thought they were telling me 30 was about to look terrible on me that i didn't take some years off and then come to find out it it just got put in the wrong p.o box it wasn't even for me i opened someone else's mail <laughs> <laughs> so so now i'm like did, did i just submit to a felony or some shit online live <laughs> <laughs> the pd shows up three minutes later and takes me to jail i took it back <laughs> And he made a video on it, so now I'm like, you just need to make videos of stealing people's mail, and you could be Puddin', yeah. Puddin's Porch Pirate. You could yeah, have a whole other right. skit where you just hobble around yeah. with the patch, stealing people's FedEx packages Since you said that, porch. I started stretching in these things where I could get to the porch and back without getting caught. <laughs> have you ever tried to, like, legit run? Of course, y'all see me run at the end of my last video. Have you ever seen me try to run? And bibs, that's a whole different ball game. These things, they're made for work and they ain't made for running. That's for damn sure. I, I don't think we need to see that. Pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> fast as F. Uh-oh, somebody's going to send you some tassels. They want to see you in tassels with your, uh, with your bibs on. As long as they match the outfit. Holy crap, there's still 580 people in here. Don't you guys got to go to bed? Puddin', 
They, they don't give a damn. Puddin's got to get up in the morning and uh, wake up all the birds. Get them going for the day. Uh, my chickens wake me up, and then I get going. I just hey, don't like. Stephen Stephen McCullough, thanks for the. Uh, oh, it's 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 McCulloch, not McCullough, but he uh he, he threw a couple bucks out for uh. Duff dog. Duff dogs jerky treats. The the real star of the show. The real star. He's he's down here taking a nap in his kennel. He's pissed off that we're not out. Hey, Grant Grant's on the right page here. Whatever happened to the vice grip? Guy, never heard of her. <laughs> just, just uh, lost, half, just lost a, like two thirds of my subscribers. I wake up in the morning, I'm at, I'm at five thousand again. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna do a calendar, Nancy. Putting, putting, he'll pose on all of his parking. I will cars pose. He'll, he'll but start a calendar. We, we know who Nancy's after. <laughs> She, she didn't ask where the pudding calendar was, did she? That's, did you notice how she didn't say anything when your wife was in there? Because she was all like, ooh, she was all jealous. No, uh, that's because we were talking, so she had that time to eye you down. Where's my shop dog? I don't have one. Listen, three. Okay, I, I live with four women, folks, all right? And I love them to death. And I've got them at all ages. I've got seven, 13, 16. 36 you gotta be careful the last one <laughs> and uh yeah you know a, a, a dog's not on the schedule not happening just some, just something else for him to fight about and another responsibility and uh, yeah we don't need no dogs and i like my my house to stay nice so no dogs allowed <laughs> duffy uh he, he this is this is he doesn't come home with me he runs the shop here so He's got her pretty rough. He's a shop yeah. dog. He don't come a, home. No, we grew up uh, had dogs like him, and they, they they were always at the shop, never at the house or whatever. So just come here. And that, that, I mean, I I think that's. I mean, I get it. The people who who have their dogs, it's just it ain't my thing. Yeah, I, I don't have to have one. I mean, we we are nine, you know, nine hundred mi miles per hour all the time with kids stuff going on, school stuff, family stuff, and working full time and trying to get the videos out. So, yeah. yeah. I like this guy's comment here. You could <clears throat> you can see the divide in YouTube, the ones invited to the Freedom Factory and the ones that don't. <laughs> Pretty much. Big, big I mean, riches. Yeah. No, that, Duff, Duff doesn't go home. He's He's got a nice bench seat over there and he's got a kennel here and he's got carpet over there he's he's a he's a shop dog corduroys putting you're gonna wear corduroys you know i've heard people talk about them and i don't even know what the hell they are so, you know what corduroys are dude I, when i tell y'all my mind can say it but my mouth can't keep up like i could say yeah i could say it but i don't know what the hell that is oh man uh early break dance yeah you should do some more break dancing videos i was i thought you were gonna bust out a piece of cardboard and just cut a rug for us hey danny fix it all knows what's up he's right there danny are you older than your wife or are you younger because i am high that's yeah a, that's, no that's old ronnie knows what's up he said did you just say your wife's age yeah you better you're gonna get she was all excited to be in here. We finally got her to come on live. She, and then she's she, going to watch this later. She doesn't me. watch it, does she? No, she don't. Uh, but, I mean, I will say since I've kind of – oh, Nicole knows what's up. She'd throw it down with electric boogaloo. Uh, no, you know, they started watching some, like the new video last night. The whole family actually sat down on the couch and watched it, and that, they're laughing. You know, I've got them laughing. So they're into it more now than when I was doing the build stuff, which is understandable. I mean, the results speak for itself. <laughs> the the 5,000 subscribers versus 35,000. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I get it. But, no, she ain't going to care I say at her age because – she knows I'm her biggest. Danny yeah. Fix It All's got two sons too, man. That guy's pullout game is weak. Son of a biscuit. Five kids just polluting the gene pool. <laughs> Unsubscribe from him, Danny. He's me. So it's Costalato. 
Like the one on the way to Mortski, we got to send you some real beer instead of that American water you guys drink, LOL. And I have a pair of vice grip. Or is that what you guys are referring to? Uh, it's actually, they're called locking pliers, you know. Vice grip is a patented name. So anybody who would use that is clearly uh, ripping off a copyright. Yeah, so, don't don't mention copying. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be a copier. You don't want to be a tomcat. No. Don't be a tomcat. Wayne Tweed says he misses the builds. There you go, Puddin. You got to get back to building. Wayne, he knows what's up. Fuck it. Get the welder out. Put the jacks up. Did you just drop an F-bomb? Jeez, oh. now we know we're getting lit. Yeah, no, I, no, I have to edit them out, too. It's a, it's a natural reaction. I'm good about turning them. I'm better about turning them off around the family, but. Man, it's just, you know, what you grow up nobody, around. Nobody watches these lives anyway, so you can literally do whatever you want. Nobody's going to say it. Put as Jello Bill Cosby. <laughs> Ooh. The I Cosby sauce. Someone said so, Bill Cosby. Chin edits my videos. He didn't know that Bill Cosby was like the Jello pudding spokesperson. He had no idea. Mm. I didn't either. So you just talked about something new. I You're didn't kidding. God, you guys are just kids. Well, yeah, we didn't watch television in 1960 when you were sitting around bored. Did you guys did, did you guys have a tube TV in the trailer hood, Nicole? When you guys were, you know, growing up in the single wide, all nine of you? That's pretty accurate. That's why I'm, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy with everything I got in life right now. <laughs> If I'm being honest, you could you could do a lot worse, you know. You could you could have a viewers <laughs> picked up from my f bomb. No, I try to keep those to a minimum. <laughs> uh, Rubik's cube. Couldn't you know what a Rubik's cube is? I've never I've never solved one. Uh, no, Nicole. He's he's told me the whole story about uh, growing up. He didn't he didn't mention you, but he said. Uh, well, Jimmy Barr was was all about the leverage, and there was a bunch of kids in a trailer. Sixty nine single wide. You know how many people would kill for a sixty nine single wide? Oh no, that's a short wide. Sixty nine short wide. That's what everyone likes. <laughs> I grew up in a sixty nine single wide. I thought that's what was cool. My bad. J Jimmy was Jimmy wasn't a car guy, huh? He didn't. No. I he didn't what? He never, you know, I mean, had any extra money to do it, I suppose. No, well, yeah, way too poor for stuff like that. Nicole, okay, minus my, my older brother, my older brother who moved to Florida and everything, which, yeah, that, that's a whole different story. Nicole was the oldest. Uh, what was your car, Nicole? 89 Chrysler New Yorker, digital gauges, plush what? low rider interior, vinyl. Maroon vinyl top on a maroon car. I guess it's more purple than maroon, actually. Dime lights on it. I think Dad got it for like three hundred bucks. One heater in the living room. Had to sleep with your clothes for the next day in bed with you. <laughs> Don't tell all of our secrets. <laughs> yeah, heaven forbid when that pilot light wouldn't start. <laughs> That shit sucked. <laughs> Take a drink. I said shit. <laughs> I knew no, we, we we grew up and, and we got by. And the best thing that my dad did to us, other than you know have money, was he raised us right. So, oh, he traded a horse. He traded a horse for the car. Where did he get a horse? I don't even remember us only owning like two. We watched horses for a lot of you. People you ate the family. you ate the first one and traded the second one off. That's how you get a Chrysler New Yorker. <laughs> I had to pay them 400 for a car they traded a horse for. There you go. So no handouts. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, he, he would help you get a car and it was going to be a, you know, four or $500 car, but you're going to pay him back for that car. So you're still, you're still making payments on that New Yorker then, ain't you? <laughs> Sweetheart. That was her, that was her name. I remember the Billy Goat. <laughs> yeah, we, we had goats too. Yeah, they're nasty. Think about getting too many ones myself. 
to, like to climb on to climb on your cars that slip around on your sweet patina on the hood of Edna. Did I meet my wife at the state fair? <laughs> I did. I was in a corn dog eating contest, and yeah, I, I stole her heart there. Uh, man, did you did you meet your wife at the state fair? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I just said. I, I yeah. won the the corn doggy eating contest. Stole her heart. Uh, Luke, Luke, I can't read your comments out loud. I don't know. Somebody might be offended by that. Uh oh. What did Luke say? Is that a good one? I missed it. He's he said uh, here we have a community dot competition. There they have. Give us your money. We rule YouTube. Don't be inventive and make good videos, or we'll send you threatening messages. Oh, so there it's out there. Yeah, everybody knows. Who, who could he be talking about? I have no idea. He he had no role models getting into YouTube. He had this vision himself. Yeah, yeah. except for his funny because his, his, his interviews. Mills, he, his, his interviews. He talks about how he said. copies Red Green. Have you ever seen Red Green? Yeah. He even says in his interviews that that yeah yeah I got a lot of things from Red Green. It's like oh so he didn't copy. Well, none of his first thumbnails that he has since uh, took down, they never said Roadkill style and the exact Roadkill font, and say Roadkill style in like the first five videos of his. But you know those those have gone away magically. That's crazy. Almost like he copied Roadkill. And then he even Anyways. says in his video, I didn't copy Roadkill. I was doing it way before that. We've been doing this for 20 years. We just never filmed it. Literally said Roadkill style. Right. Like, hey. We got to, we got to, we got to stop. Yeah. Yep. I, I you. would love for that to be a triple live interview. Oh, yeah. No. I'm like, no. So I would, someone's going to set it up. Can you headbutt through a, a camera? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. Why no Facebook group? I don't I don't really do the Facebook thing. The only thing I do Facebook is for like marketplace marketplace to buy all this garbage Damn that I don't right. need. And then to deal with idiots when you're trying to sell something. They're like, hey, will you trade this jet ski that's blown up with no engine and the bank has the title and I don't have a trailer and there's a hole in the hall. Yeah, I'd love to trade my 64 in Palo Fordo that I'm asking three grand for for your jet ski with a hole in it, no engine. <laughs> Or the guys who uh, come say they're going to show up on Saturday, so you hang around until two in the afternoon and they don't show up. Or they drive to the wrong town 60 miles away. I had that happen a couple weeks ago. Drove to the wrong town. A and town. Yep. Yeah. Or guys that, like, well, literally, you'll ask three grand and they'll just flat out offer you 1,200 bucks. Just message you. Not even come look at it. Just be like, I'll give you 1,200 bucks. Uh, I bet you will. <laughs> and then you just give them the address to the uh, comedy clubs and they show up and be like, yeah, go tell them your jokes there. Yeah. I'll give them the, the address to long years down here. And that's the strip club down the road from Jerry in Earlsboro. All right. So imagine. What's, what what's the name of this? I got to write this down. I'm going to, I'm going to go check it out when I'm down there. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. We'll, we'll go. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I ain't going. You can go. I will give you the address. I'll I'll show you where it's at. But I'm you can drop you can drop me off with uh, your uh, fancy lights on and in, inside the Edna, and then pick me up afterwards. You, you want your kneecap lasered in half or what? <laughs> <laughs> that thing, like everyone thinks, I have a good plasma cutter, but they don't realize I cut everything with the freaking dome lights and the travel all. That's where I really cut most of my metal. <laughs> Uh, man, our viewers are dropping off. Are they? Good. I'm so, <laughs> so get 538. Tired. 538. We're dropping down. Yeah, it's getting. We got about five minutes left. You want to shut her down at nine o'clock? That good enough for you? Whatever. I'm rolling. I'm having fun. We literally talked about nothing that we thought we may talk about. What were we going to talk about? Let's let's talk about what we were going to talk I mean, about. Like talk about like. He had asked me about like my old 64 and the Model A and stuff. And yeah, we, you know, we talked about, I don't know. I've been having fun though. No, that's, that's what I said. You just got to have something in case it gets like boring or whatever. But 
Will we yeah. be able to meet the guy that named you Puddin? Your dad's reaction was the best in the video. I'm going to have to have a lot of bleeps ready, but Robert Glasgow is quite the character. And everyone wants to know how I got that nickname. And it's not near as good as what people think it is. So I want to talk about that another time. Just keep you on the hook. So the 77 Monaco has been sold. I think it, my video came out on Monday and I think it either, I think it left Sunday morning. I, I had had it sold before the video was even posted. The guy who got it's got like 19 of those B-body tubers. Hmm. Did you fix your hoist? Is that your hoist that's broken? Oh yeah, that's sketchy. Is he talking about the, the crane behind you? That thing is sketchy as hell, dude, when you're lifting that uh, square that body bed up. Sketchy. With it, you got like a two by four wedged in there to hold it up, and that's a one by four. Learn math over <laughs> you know, videos. <laughs> Better get your your calipers built into your eyeballs. <laughs> no, have you ever worked on one of those? It's like adjustability in the brake because it has a built-in brake. But do y'all know how much money I have involved into that crane that I've picked a ton of crap up with, and that? Hoist I've picked a ton of crap up with. Zero dollars. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. We we used to like we could buy them at work on auctions and I've had a couple of them and I'll Yeah. I, I we can't we can't sell things we pick up at auctions at work, so I can't say that I would but I mean if I were to get rid of them, I would take them to a swap meet and sell them to a new owner. I'm like you like <laughs> I only, have, I only have eight foot ceilings, so like it would be in the way half the time. That, and that's what's awesome about that one. Is yeah. it, it literally tucks against the wall. I mean, they, these are just regular old eight foot, and that hoist picks up a ton of stuff. Like Liter literally, a ton. It. Literally, a ton. It says four thousand. Can people see that? I can't tell. There's kind of like a glare right there on mine. Half ass, yeah. half ass customs is in the house. He wants to know if you made that or bought it. You had to got that like from work or something, didn't you? You did not make that. Hundred percent <laughs> hand built. If if you do the creepy old man wink one more time, I'm gonna come down there and roundhouse you right in the jugular. I like a challenge. <laughs> uh, I'll whoop that ass. <laughs> no, I just like talking crap. No, I didn't build that. That's a. That's a gantry crane. I mean, that's a like, hey, hey, did you build that? But I, I printed my own labels for it. Are we going mobile? We're going mobile. Oh, oh. man. Well, this is this is where it live ends because Puddin trips and smashes his face on the headlight of Edna. Yeah, and breaks I, I built that and I actually printed that label. But what's funny about that label is like right there, that thing used to actually say 100 pounds. And I turned the one into a four and I drew on an extra zero. So it says 4,000. <laughs> oh my God. You're the, you're the sketchiest guy that I've met today. Oh, there went one of your starters. Yeah. Hold on. Look, look at that side that I ain't edited yet. hundred pounds. But seriously, who, who only thinks this thing's capable of a hundred pounds? Like I didn't prove that wrong on several occasions. So. Paint Gun wants to know, or uh, Apocalypse wants to know what those headers are for. I think he's saying that you should go like, like smash them with a hammer. Uh, whatever you want to put them on with a small block Chevy, I guess. I don't know. I got some. I got some white ones hanging up on the other side of the roadster body too. I don't know what they're for. I picked them up like for free for small block Chevy. So I, is, that a, I is that a replacement shoebox quarter panel or did you cut one, like a cut a good one off a car? Or is that no, a that, market? That's like a, that's an OG panel from way back in the day. Check it out. It's got a really weird lip. It's like in half. It's pretty cool. It's, oh, it's, new, it's, new, old, it's new old stock then. I believe so. I've never seen another one like this and you'll see what I mean. And I'm sure other people will know, but I've never seen a full quarter that then has that stamped lip on the front halfway through the quarter as well. Weird, right? That's like you, you can find NOS quarters for these cars, 
but it's full all the way up to like the, you know, the door or whatever. But no, this is, it's old. It ain't mine. It's actually from Chris's car. He, I mean, that dude's the shoebox king of parts for sure. So he brought me a ton of stuff and he had that. But then when I showed him all the, you know, hidden crap in his full quarter, he just found a whole quarter and we put it on there. Screw sheet that'll work. That stuff's terrible. Like you're the man because how how you didn't tell that guy no, I don't know, because there ain't no chance. <sighs> so so this thing, I'd show it to you, but I'm not gonna like they they halfway patched in a wheel arch in like the early nineties. <sighs> that beer's still terrible. terrible. What's that? So that beer's still terrible. But anyway, they like lap welded all the patch panels they put in in the 90s, and now it's all rusted out because of it. So I have to cut out that plus more and then try to patch it all in, and it's just going to be a disaster. Not good. What are you doing now? Are you going to have another one? You're going to be all white girl wasted tonight. Yeah, you got to. Dude. Uh... Ashley don't get it. She's like, how do you drink coffee like that? Because I chug coffee. I drink water the same way. I drink beer the same way. I just chug everything. So in between like four or five beers when I'm drinking at night, try to throw in a bottle of water. Keep it fresh. <laughs> Got to stay hydrated. Don't be dumb about it. Oh, my God. So, so you're going to go like run a lap too while you're at it, you know? Probably. <laughs> Probably no laps. Like everyone probably thinks I'm trying to be stupid. You can ask anyone who knows me. That's how I drink my water. Sometimes I got to chug two of them back to back. Uh, <laughs> to catch up. No, I, I'm always ahead on water. Like I said, I, I don't drink those Dr. Peppers. You know what I mean? You just had Dr. Pepper. That ain't my thing. I ain't no thing. Water and beer. You know, try to keep beer till later in the night. Pudding, is, that a Zima? Is, is that a Zima? Do you know what a Zima is? Have you ever had a Zima? You lost me there. Have you ever had a Zima, those clear beers? Mm -mm. Oh. They make clear beer? Yeah, go check it out, Zima, and you'd put uh, Jolly Ranchers in them. Do you know what a Jolly Rancher is, at least? I, I know that. Yeah, I know. But Zima, that's a new one to me. So what's it do? Just kind of make like a the girly beers? Pretty much. Oh, do you hear someone giving it hell? You, uh, Oak, Oklahoma things. C could you hear that? Yeah. Okay, that's why I can't freaking record y'all video because those doors are closed. But one guy could tell my side door was open. So what happened? Got to give it hell. When those freaking doors are open, it's like freaking smoke them fest out there on the highway. I, I literally got a message earlier on Instagram that said, drove by your place, revved up my Cummins because I know how much you hate it. You should. <laughs> so if, if we ever do get together, we're going to go find a crappy old couch and we're going to sit. Which out by ain't the a problem. I, I passed three today taking the girls to school. So we'll get a couch for sure. And we're, we'll film loading it up on the roof of the Torola and hauling it home. It will definitely haul it. That ain't an issue either. And we'll sit out there with our 48 pack of uh, Costco beer in our in our in our bibs just on the street harassing people. If you come down one, yes, you have to get bibs. Two, it's so funny because it's like me and you're on such on the like same page of ideas, and I can elaborate on this on two ways. So me and him talked last Whoa, night. Did you just say elaborate? I did. That's a big word. Holy. Anyway, continue with your elaboration. Ella taught it, Ella taught it to me the other day. Uh, <laughs> dude, I'm all joking, but like Ella straight smokes like big words down all the time. <laughs> she'll be like, so what's going to be the reparations if I like, and she'll like throw down. I'm like, you're seven. Like, what? what where'd you get that word? I'm like, do you mean like if you'll be in trouble? And she's like, yes, dad. Like her, her vocabulary is getting big. So yeah, she taught me that one. Uh, me and him talked last night, kind of doing this thing. Cause me and him, like we've talked on the phone and we text, but we've never like done a, I call this FaceTime. Hell, that's what everyone calls it. Or I guess I could say shit. So everyone could drink again. 
But uh, I was like, I was telling them how the people who drive by my house and just romp on it and give it hell, like how I, I was wanting to like set up a camera looking at those people, looking at me where you can see my reaction. And I want to sit out there in like a lawn chair. And he was like, dude, just not even a week ago, I was talking to, you know, Ryan or whatever, sitting out there yeah. about everyone driving by and how we want to set a couch out at my buddy's house because he lives right off the highway. And we want to like rate the cars with a board. And he's like, but we're you no, know, and, then, about and then you got to radar them when they go by. And so he wants to rate them and use a couch, but because it's always just me, I was picturing just using like the nice like flannel pattern lawn chair that like <laughs> flips out, but like recording myself with like my eyes chest and just like <laughs> reacting to people. And it's like, we had the same idea and it, it's a little different, but it's the same thing. And I'm like, dude, when you come down, we're definitely finding a couch and sitting it on my hill next to the highway. <laughs> like, we'll set up 14 cameras where you can see like our reaction, the cars that are driving by. Maybe we'll hold them where we can try to get it as it's driving by, where if they really keep giving it hell, like the other day, I had a guy plumb floor it in this like probably 79, 80, you know, C10 long bed, flat black, grandpa saw blade wheels, polished to hell. He floored it what had to be two blocks away coming past because he probably knew I was here. And as he let off the gas in front of my house, it backfired from hell. And he put me on the ground because, you know, he thought he was the coolest dude ever. But that backfire was like nothing I ever heard. I was rolling. I'm like, dude, we got to get that stuff on, on camera. It'd be a whole video series. <laughs> like, we, we could call it, what do you got? And people would come, you know, just to see that. <laughs> Drive-bys with dummies. <laughs> yeah, I'd say plenty of them around here. I'll probably get jumped tomorrow. Ball or kill Billy. Jen just commented. That's what he said. We were going to sit out there with a with a hair dryer and aim it at cars as they go by. And then you have like some cardboard. It says like new record, seventy four miles an hour. You know. Or the, you, uh, you, we'll we'll drink if you do a burnout stuff like that. So the other day I was coming home from work and I was in the travel hall. And I was trying to change the music on my phone because I was freaking jamming out or whatever. But just recently, we got a couple motorcycle cops in Shawnee. And Shawnee's like, what? The, yeah, it's the big city that I call it a city. It's probably not a city to most people next to us. But they got like two motorcycle cops. And I was coming up to like this overpass and I'm on the highway. And I'm looking at music on my phone and I look up and there's a motorcycle cop with a radar gun going like this, like looking at me. Because I'd never seen one in our town before. I was going <laughs> up to the windshield like that. He didn't come after me. But like he he set the like gun to the side. Yeah, he could we we like like we locked eyes. It was weird. We had a moment. <laughs> but it, <laughs> he, he then come pulled me over. But I'm like, I was definitely going faster than the speed limit. I definitely just had my phone in my hand. You are not doing your job, sir. <laughs> Like, cause that's all motorcycle cops do, right? Like pretty much enforce traffic stuff. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't arrest someone and put them on the back. You could, but you're, you're really taking a chance there. I we mean, get, they just ride horses around here. So I don't know, whatever. Oh, $5 for Duff's treats and put in shoe fund. That almost buys a whole new set of shoes. For me. <laughs> well, hey, y'all, y'all think I'm playing COVID hit last year and I was devastated. I go through like a pair of these like every month and a half because they're so cheap and I love just being able to slip a shoe on and then get tore up and I don't care. And then when COVID hit for a whole year, Walmart did not carry them. And I was so upset. And then like, <laughs> like six months ago, man, Ashley's in Walmart and you can only get me in Walmart like once every two years. So she finally drug me into that hell hole and we we're like walking. I was like, Oh, Hey, that's where the shoe aisle is. And I went, running down there and I'll be damned if they didn't have like six pairs of my size, like 11 of those slip ons ain't been there in like a year and a half. And I, I, you I, bought I them all, I, did you? You bought every single pair. You bought them in sizes nine and sizes 11 just cause you're like, you had to have them. Do I look stupid to you? <laughs> you damn right. I did. I bought every pair. When I picked up the first pair, I yelled yes, but I did it with a bravado where it echoed through Walmart so I could embarrass Ashley. And I put every damn pair in that shopping cart. And I'm I'm literally on my last set now because I just burned through them, but I like them. I don't you, you put them on layaway, didn't you? Because you bought so many of them. 
Was that Kmart who had the blue light special? <laughs> yep. <laughs> R.I.P. Kmart. I'm pretty sure they're like all out of business now, now aren't well, it's they? they? It's because they took on Craftsman Tools. That's what put them under. Yeah, that's probably that's probably why this piece of shit won't start. You seen what it says on the side, didn't you? I, I have no idea what you're doing. Your dial-up's too slow. Oh, that thing. Oh, it says Craftsman on it? Yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take a drink, everyone. Kmart gone. <laughs> Dude with the wrenches wins the comment section with Kmart gone. That's it. Grant's trying to fight you because he said he loves flexi hoses. Uh, I'm going to beat you with a flexi hose, Grant. Ooh. You don't eat. Well, never mind. I ain't going to say nothing. Size 13s to impress the Checo girl. You know what they say yeah. about big big shoes? Yeah. Big, big socks. Feet. <laughs> big <laughs> socks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lowe's, Lowe's is next. Oh, yeah. Well, Napa, you guys all know that's my favorite brand of automotive replacement parts. They took on Craftsman, too. Craftsman is literally garbage now. Like It is. Like I like all my wrenches, my old or whatever wrenches are craftsmen, but they're the ones that say USA on them. The new ones are like a big giant club foot. They're terrible. The ratchets suck. The ratchets have always sucked, to be honest, unless you got like the professional ones or whatever. I am not getting kinky. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's the snake? Oh yeah, that's right. I just drained it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you have like the bladder of a 13 year old girl. Absolutely. When I know we're going to Texas to vi visit family where it's like the eight hour drive, I will only drink like one bottle of water through the whole day before we drive. Just so I don't have to stop every hour. I've never broke a Harbor Freight tool had yet, Bobby. You should start using them more. Yeah, you should you should see you should see the way he welds with his Harbor Freight welder. He's I bet you can break that weld with your bare hands. But he, it, he used them once. He's like that shit never breaks. <laughs> it's, I ain't even taken out of the case yet. Hand tool. The Kmart and Shawnee is now a U-Haul. Oh, hey, Steve's on here. Steve recognized me. When I dropped the tow roll off to get window tent, there's a group of dudes from a local paint and body shop kind of checking it out. And he messaged me on Instagram. And yeah, he follows all the big channels on here. So me and you like the two big ones. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's cool. His cousin's the one who gave me the uh, that little Datsun car that I just picked up, actually. So yeah. No, well, aren't I, you guys I all related down there? Cousins. <laughs> So, so you like tagged me in that Instagram post or whatever, and you put it up, and like I, I like my Instagram followers doubled. Like I think I'm up to 26 people now after you put that on there. You damn night. right. Hey, you may be whipping my ass in subscribers, but on Instagram, I got you. <laughs> I never put crap on Instagram until a handful of months Dude, ago. It's, it's like it, it's crazy. That's because you're like you're recruiting all the like. The guys who the guys who don't have smartphones. Exactly. I, I didn't want to say it, but you said it, you know. <laughs> like they're like they're doing good to get YouTube pulled up, but then they're like trying to use Jitterbug to get Instagram and they're like, oh hell with it. Yeah. But yeah. Like, since, since the channel's been growing, my Instagram's almost grown like a thousand followers. And I've I don't really try on there when I feel like it, I post, but I'm not like a hardcore Instagram person. Yeah. Yeah, I no. hate Instagram because you get on it and the next thing you know, it's three days later and you're watching cat videos where people are scaring them and they're jumping straight up in the air and you'll never get those three days back. Yeah, you, just, you need a better hobby. I ain't got time for that crap. <laughs> the flip phone mafia. Yes, I guarantee some of my subscribers have flip phones. I guarantee I don't have 13 year old girls following Instagram. Maybe you never know. Now, uh, th there's a lot of car people on Instagram. I th I think as your channel grows, it your Instagram's definitely going to go up 
keep going up. I mean, I think it's just going to I don't really just happen. I don't, the only reason I really put it on Instagram was just so like someday, you know, like you're like, oh, yeah, I remember having a picture of that because you lose your phone over the years, you know, and you're like, God, I had all those pictures of that international That's, build or whatever. But if you put it on Instagram, then you're always going to have them. That definitely happens. So, so you like have pictures of everything. You like send me pictures. You're like, oh, yeah, this is that pickup that I had in 2009 when I was a sophomore, my, my my third year of being a sophomore. This is the square body Chevy that I had with three quarter ton. That's because I finally learned how to log into MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> now, a, a lot of a lot of my old pictures from way back when I first got a phone that could take pictures, I'd uploaded them to my old Facebook. So a lot of them I can like dig super deep in Facebook and I can find them. Like I haven't even showed you my S10 Blazer convertible. I cut the roof what? off of when I was in high school. What? Did we just yeah, become everyone best friends? Thinks that, an everyone, thinks the Datsun was a, everyone thinks the Datsun was the first build. Like I didn't cut the roof off of S10 Blazer and slam it. And was it a four door or a two door? Two door. Two door. Oh yeah. Did yep. you make it like so you could reattach it or was it just a blue tarp? Do you think I did all that? No, if, if it rained, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that, that's it. No, it, it was super cool at the time to me, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say it to who? It's a freaking 84 S10 Blazer. Who cares? Like you'll say that, but you'll see what, like 20 people. <laughs> let's see, let's there, see what your sister says about it. She's, she's probably like, uh, probably like that thing was super badass. <laughs> it was not uh, cutting the tops S10 off of it. Ten ten for life. Uh, yeah, they did make a Dodge Dakota. You ever seen those Dodge Dakota convertibles, but, the Roadster pickups? I mean, they're not cool, but for what they are, they they were cool. Just oh. because, I mean, who, who makes them? <laughs> Your sister said it was fun to cruise, but also very stupid. <laughs> uh, now people think someone named Mook is my sister. No, and they're talking about Junkyard Mook. I don't know what that guy's rambling around about. Junkyard Diggs. Yeah, we get it. He's not here. Oh, someone was the a burnout. The Shelby Dakota. I I did a, I did a burnout on that BMW before I left. Wow, well, not a burnout. I got it a chip. Chirp the tires. Yeah, don't let me finish this blue moon and say that again because the international will roast them. You, you better get those those two those two forty one gears. We'll get her into overdrive. Hey, find someone who's had a, a freaking burnout going at one hundred and forty seven miles per hour on YouTube besides me. So just, just blowing those poor males out. I wasn't even in the car. Like what? I got in there right as that son of a bitch blew where I could unprop the gas pedal where luckily nothing hit the fan, but you, you know. <laughs> he said it put in if you make a shirt that says if it rained, it sucked. I'll buy it. <laughs> I need to get an old picture of the uh, blazer and do that because it did suck. <laughs> Tommy Hook threw us 20 bucks for the diff in the orange Ford. I need to pull that orange Ford apart. I have no have you ever seen that where you could spin the drive shaft and then and the axles did not turn? Oh yeah, you haven't watched my video because you're a terrible friend. No, that ain't true. I done told you I watched it. I just don't wasn't I, I wasn't logged in. So then when I, I clicked comment to leave a comment, it totally restarted the video. And you know, I'm not a terrible friend. Don't put that on me. <laughs> I'll, I'll get sensitive. I'm out of here. Uh, <laughs> we're we're getting down to just uh, just over 500 people, so we should probably wrap her down. You know, we don't want to get down into those 500, 499 numbers. Yeah, we're still them. doing 200 better than you ever did before. Well, right, it's because I got I because I got Poontang Roundhouse in here today. You damn know? right. Man, I can't believe people like watching this stuff, but I think it's cool. I like talking. <laughs> Squint, we got squinty eyed at skinny jean Evan over here. Yeah. About one more hour, I'm going to be up here doing this number so I can read them comments. Spin them, pudding. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Somebody goes at Ego P again. <laughs> oh, you know it would suck. I just thought about this. I, I rolled the free ten cab out in front of that door, so I roll up the door, not paying attention, so I can let the smoke out, and I'm just gonna do this badass like launch and burn out, and I just drill that C ten cab, knock it off the wheel dollies. Mickelson Racing's in. He, he works with me. He's got a channel. He's got like I don't know seven hundred subscribers. Literally. We got more people in here watching than you've had watch your like last six videos combined. So take that, Mister C. No, don't kick him in the balls like that. He yanked the shit out of that truck. Uh, oh yeah, with the <laughs> minivan. <laughs> you sent me that video on the phone, and I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> I'm like, he don't give a fuck, does he? I'm sorry to drop that word again, but he is the definition of don't give a f. If you see him uh, yank on that damn truck, that trailblazer. Yeah, he freaking, he's something, something else. Well, I suppose, oh man, Nick, thank you. I'll watch this once a week. We'll, we'll have to see Putin. He's got a crazy schedule and then weather's getting nice and he only gets a couple days off. So he's got to shoot his. Yeah, every if, if you do this every Tuesday, every other Tuesday, I have to work and I don't even get off work till seven. So, yeah, uh, yeah, it ain't practical every week, but, you know, maybe every other week or at least every four weeks. Once, maybe once, once a month. Yeah, yeah, once a year or something like that. It just depends on how high you want your views, I guess. Yeah, uh, I was like I said, the last couple have been like into the threes, I think. I know it was like mid threes or whatever. I kind of figured with as much chatter was going on on Instagram. That I could probably try to do a burnout, but my luck is going to spin on the other side because it's a one tire fire. <laughs> so like, it won't even be a good burnout because this one's probably just going to be stationary and the smoke will start uh, rolling from the other side. I got my 66 Chevy pickup sitting outside and it's got a pretty healthy 350 and, a, and I put a five speed in it. It's just a crappy leave hauler, but I bet it would, I don't know if it would do a brake stand, but it might do a burnout. Do you want to try it and see if this one spins? If this one, if this one ain't spinning, I don't want to do a burnout on that side. Like obviously, you know, everyone knows. So it's just going to spin on one side, but it ain't near as cool. If you can't even see the damn thing spinning. If, if somebody throws 20 bucks out there right now, I'll back the pickup in and see if I can do a burnout. But you get like <laughs> you get like two minutes to do it. And that's that's why y'all need to subscribe to Put in Fab Shop because he'll do it for free. <laughs> oh man. Because here's the beautiful thing about uh tires that want to spin when you don't want them to spin. This nine hundred dollar piece of lumber right here will prevent one from spinning more than likely. Not guaranteed. But uh, Nick did it. <laughs> we'll we'll see what Puddin does here. And then I'll see if I can get mine in here. All right. Let's let's have a little fun. I like it. Let's you go you, you you're going first? I'll entertain these guys and then we'll see what happens. I'll bring mine in. <laughs> Bring, hey, put, turn your camera down just a hair so we can see that back wheel. Let me get the sweat off my forehead. No, I'm sweating. That's your, that's your, you're going to wipe your makeup off in there. I just wait patina in my forehead. <laughs> oh, it, that's it, why it's, it's so for, shiny. It's good for skincare, too. Use that promo code PFS64. Oh, let me, let me block this wheel just to see. Ah, uh, it's, it's gonna spin the wrong wheel, ain't it? No, what? yours spins that left wheel. Well, in the last video, it spun that one till I blew it. But what y'all didn't see in that whole smoke show was that side was propped with a block of wood. <laughs> oh, you cheated! Screw you, buddy. <laughs> Let's see. see. See, he's practiced up in this. Oh man, he's got he's got a hogged out cam in that 305. You guys better watch out. I'll 
Lock it harder. <laughs> what is he doing? We're trying. <laughs> I think he's trying to do a, a burnout, but. Uh... Oh, that's your exhaust that's giving the back feed. That's, it's the other tire. It's the wrong tire. All right, I'm going to go get my pickup. Is it overdrive? <laughs> It's all coming out. The dimple dies in the bed. <sighs> coming up through there. <laughs> yeah, not the best. That's the disadvantage of a one wheeler pillar, I guess. I know I ain't gonna be able to see a damn thing now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I can't see Diddly. Let's see what Mortsy's going to do now. It was definitely a single wheel, <laughs> a MIG locker. I'm just sitting here breathing the same time. Terrible here. Yeah, I, I did get in trouble for waking up kids. You're right. Oh. <laughs> oh, old Tom likes a good competition. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what Duff Dog has. Can't see diddly do. Oh, time to do a will it run? Will it stay running? I feel like I'm on a Scooby Doo episode trying to make it through the fog right now. I can't even. Hey, Mortsky, uh, are, are, are you doing a will it run or what? You win the burnout contest. <laughs> I can't breathe in there anymore. <laughs> it's hell. Oh, man. I need to uh, put some more tire pressure in this thing. And then being a manual, trying to do both feet without having to like bumper against something or whatever. Look at Duff. He's like. Dude, are we going to do that again or what? <laughs> I am dying in here. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. It was like a million times worse than the actual burnout contest. It looked like all. I'd say it looked like the whole place was on fire, but. Yeah, I didn't even get to see it because I was outside back in my pickup around. <laughs> it wasn't good because the tire wasn't spinning. It was from the other side, but obviously well, I predict. I, I, I had to do a smoke test. Anyhow. I had to do a test on the street to see which uh, which tire was spinning before I backed it in. I, I thought you were about to bring the business when you first led into it. It started spinning, and, and then you're like, I know your go-to is a will it run, so you killed it, and you want to see if you could get it started again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't even breathe in here. I done got in trouble by Ashley for waking up kids, doing burnouts. And, <laughs> yeah. We're we're not going to be allowed to hang out ever again, are we? Yeah. This is our last fast FaceTime, probably because I won't <laughs> walk out of here alive. Yeah, it's pretty thick in here. 
that that's what happens when you spin the tires at 300 miles per hour in overdrive oh man looks good though i mean <laughs> did ashley really come out and yell at you yeah she did <laughs> oh man <laughs> all right I, the doors were closed it wasn't that loud in there <laughs> That's the thing that that pickup really isn't that loud. All you can hear is the tires. Yeah, no, the the tire screech kind of is loud, but I mean, it's just a burnout. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. It is a weak burnout. I mean, yeah, it, it needs a locker, like everyone said. People said it needs a MIG locker, which no, uh, I think it needs a good rear end. <laughs> well, doesn't yeah, doesn't it have like two seventy threes in it or something? Yeah, something super retarded. I never even use overdrive. Yeah, is but isn't that the was that the rear end that was in front or behind that overdrive when you get, when you bought it or when the car was yeah. all together? Yeah, no, that that's hundred per, uh, percent factory. It was seven hundred R four with those highway gears like that, which is crazy. And then especially like that car had to weigh, I mean, probably more than that thing, and it wasn't shaped much more aerodynamic. So, no, yeah, it was a hey, like just how like we had to climb the hill in the Corolla. We used to hit that freaking hill with Jimmy driving 50 miles an hour, you know, <laughs> so we could make it to the top. And we didn't make it a lot of times. We'd have to pile into his four-wheel drive single cab to all get out of there. All right. I think it's I think it's clearing out well enough where I can maybe walk back into here. It got thick for a minute. Yeah. yeah well, man, it is nice for you. That was kind of weak, but you know it is what it is, I guess. I, I think it was pretty good. Yeah, I'll, uh, okay. I'll have to work on my uh, will it at, runs at, at will burnout competitions. <laughs> so, uh oh, I think we I think we lost pudding. What the flip? Wonder if he'll figure it out. Well, guys, we'll see if Puddin jumps back in here. But thanks to everybody who donated. Thanks for everybody that's watching. Holy crap, we better check the numbers. See how many people got to see the burnout. 500 people are still here. Son of a biscuit. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Both <laughs> Puddin's commenting in there. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, that was a really good time. We were kind of wondering how we've been wanting to do this for a while. And uh, like I said, Puddin's work schedule and and with what I got going on, it's really hard to work, get everything to line up. And so it just happened to work out. And this is the first time me doing one together or me doing one with somebody else. Thursday, I'm going to go live with Old Car Guy and the Straight Six Fan Show. I think it's on the Straight Six Fans um, uh, channel, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, I know they would be super excited if they got 500 people in there. Yeah, don't be a wank. Fill your tank. So if anybody – hey, he's back. Hold on a second. There we go. Hey, did Ashley come out and put in your place or what? Yeah, she cut the the internet line. Uh oh, now <laughs> someone's here. <laughs> uh, I was just making sure you. I saw that smoke and it scared me. I was oh like, no, really we're not on fire. I got no, people we're, thinking we're on we're fire. We're just having the barbecue. <laughs> just okay. barbecue and some tires. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a concerned pedestrian stop by. Oh my god. All right. That that's enough. All right. Y'all done y'all done said burnout 30 times. Got me to do one. Now I got people stopping by. This is too much. <laughs> but when I when I did your burnout challenge in the middle in the middle of the day where I smoked a tire till it blew and it literally rolled smoke out of here for 45 minutes, no one stopped by. That's you know this is what's great about lives, stuff's like that. You can't you can't edit that you can't yeah no she it just she, she was like hello is someone here are, are y'all okay like, just, <laughs> just the idiot. And, then this, and then this tattooed hillbilly comes out in his bibs with a hole in the beer like no i don't know what your problem is we're just yeah. in here doing garage things do what <laughs> oh 
Uh, All right, that's enough. Y'all done got me in trouble. <laughs> well, <clears throat> let me know when you're uh, off probation or uh, ungrounded by Ashley. and Probably be 24 months. <laughs> 24? You're going to be 32 years old. Oh, it's your birthday on Saturday, and you're going to be grounded for it. You're not going to be able to have your friends over. That is definitely not true. We got way too much meat stockpiled for some street tacos. Yeah. You need to come down. Come down on Friday. Street street tacos. You ever had legit street tacos? What's like street tacos? Like you like you sit on a couch by the side of the street and eat tacos and watch cars drive by? No, you, you, <laughs> you don't put like cheese and lettuce and tomato and sour cream on them. You got to be careful. I almost clicked a button again. Last time I did that, I lost live stream. Oh, it wasn't Ashley doing it then. No, it was definitely me. I was like, <laughs> I was like, hey, a red X, what's that do? Clicked on it. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Found yeah. it. They, they right. shouldn't hide. They shouldn't highlight the one thing that can exit exit you out in a color. Like, I was like, oh, I must have something pulled up. I shouldn't clicked on it. No, that was the whole live stream. My bad. Oh man. All right. Well. You want to thank anybody? Or you got anything you want to say? Otherwise, I think we're gonna we're down to uh, four hundred and eighty. So yeah, no, it's time to call it quits. I didn't got in trouble, and <laughs> I, I, I think everyone knows. I I think our regular viewers know that anyone who watches us, we appreciate the hell out of them because, yeah. like, I, I know you got a good job. I've got a good job, but it is my goal to make this stuff full time and. Anytime people supporting it, you know, it's getting me a step closer to support me and my family with this stuff. So it means, uh, you know, it means a ton to me as sincere as I can make that sound, I guess, saying it like that. So, yeah, man, I, I hope everyone keeps watching us and supporting you and supporting me. And hopefully we can both keep growing the way we've been growing and keep bringing people stuff they like to watch because some way or another, I don't know why people like to watch us. And I think it's a good thing. <laughs> Well, Probably for what you saw right here, you know, neighbors coming over asking if your house is on fire. I'm telling you, I live off the highway. That was an innocent passerby who, had, who knew no better other than to try to check on someone because their shop looked like it was on fire. So <laughs> she thought she was going to save a life. She maybe she did. Maybe Ashley was on her way out to kill you. And she, she, if Ashley would have come running out, I would have let her give me CPR. <laughs> I'm, I'm, down, I'm down for the count, baby. <laughs> All right. So all right. yeah, like like just to reiterate what Puddin said, uh, we appreciate all you guys, and we wouldn't get to do this stuff. I mean, we'd be doing this stuff anyway, but if we can, it, uh, it's so much better when the people appreciate it and support it, and the way where me and him can make a little bit of money doing it, which make it don't just make it worth it. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Like you're drunk. No, I'm not drunk. It's just <laughs> I. I mean, I did. You didn't do this because your channel's taken off i did this shit for two and a half years without making any money and i still did it constantly to make videos for people so for me to make a little bit of money in the channel grow you know like it has in a short amount of time i mean i think it's awesome it, it's to the point where i made it a goal for it to be my full-time gig so i mean no it, it's well, cool. there you go you guys you guys heard it here first on the uh on the live stream with mr roundhouse pudding tang he, he's he's set goals He's going to do this yeah. full time. So tell all your friends about it. Make sure to like and share and subscribe and, you know, comments, put comments in there. Like, I know a lot of people that I, don't like commenting on this stuff, but that, that really helps out channels. So. You got blue lights going in your background. What's going on? Oh man. Well, we you better, no place. <laughs> we better go find out. Yeah. You better get out of there before you go to the pokey. What is going on? They, they they pull you over for me doing a burnout. <laughs> I have no idea what's causing that light. That is that's weird. <laughs> Look, Duff's like, hey, so we're we gonna finish doing this burnout or what? <laughs> what the hell was that light? You're so full of it. You got something set up. No, I, I swear, dude, I don't. I can see it shining over there on that. Yeah, no, yeah. it happened a little bit when you were talking. So I thought no, you had I, I could see it shining right above the B pillar on that pickup. I don't know what it is. So 
Chin lives right over there, and people drive by on this highway at like 80 miles Aliens. an hour. Now. Chin does, not Indians. Chin. No, I didn't say Indians, dumbass. They all live here in Oklahoma. I said aliens. That's what people are saying in the comments from the blue light. <laughs> I don't know. This <laughs> you, you better you better squeeze tight because you're gonna get anal probe tonight by the aliens. <laughs> Pucker up, Buttercup. All right, God, this this is I don't know where this is going. Yeah, we no, go. we're, we're too far. I'm out. I'm clicking Thanks, the red everybody. X on purpose this time. I'm clicking the red button.